You are on stage attacking the Christian faith because we believe in these creeds that came later and yet you believe documents like Bukhari and the scholars that were writing after Bukhari so they're all much later. He's abandoning the argument about canonicity because he's he's realized he's realized that he's realized that if he lays down principles about canonicity they will they will blow up in your face in terms of Islam and you're struggling to to give us the answer and then it comes okay, later okay, okay, yeah. you. and you're reading this later oh, yes. way Yes, back, back into, into time. Okay. Back into your, time. Your and you continued not to find evidence, what yes. would you conclude? You'd be agnostic. You'd be agnostic? Yes. Right. So thank you for agreeing that every Muslim in this corner should be agnostic no, about the belief no, no, in the Indian. Thank you. Let's go talk to Mohammed Hijab. Let's go and see how Jason's doing. Where is um, Jason? I don't want to interrupt. No, no, no. You can come yeah, in. You come, come in. Come in. No, no. Let, let try, try saying that to Lenin. Come, come in. We're talking about. But I, I have to. I have to this, continue doing this. Some, some of this. I will come. Some of this research. All right. Sorry, hope. Sorry. I, I, I've said something too nice to you. Because yeah, yeah. Bob needs to know as well. Yeah. Bob needs to know that Jason here has made some very interesting and correct points to the extent whereby I said to him what? I agreed with every almost every point you made. Let me, let, let me tell you what points he made, uh, Bob, so that everyone knows. Where's Raul? Yeah. Yeah. Where's Raul? So Bob, listen to the points I, oh. I agreed with. Number one, he said, because we're talking about canonicity, yeah? And yeah. what's included in the New Testament, what's not included in the New Testament. We talked about Athanasius. He, he brought it up and we talked about it. It was quite an interesting discussion. Yeah. And then he said, look, there was a, because there was a sense of covenant. Yeah, yeah the, the Old Testament covenant yes, community. The covenant where community, there's covenant, the scripture. There's, when there is covenant, there's scripture. And he said that, so the early Christians, even if you go back all the way to Justin Martyr, and he, he even quoted the Didache, which as you know is one of the earliest church documents, uh, one of the earliest documents that uh, intellectual historians now use, it talks about things like the baptism and and, um, and things like that. It's a small document, it's not... Yeah, it's, it's, it talks yeah. about the roles of prophets and, exactly. and, and apocalyptic, decorums apocalyptic. and prophets. Yep. A lot of it is to do with uh, the apoc Sorry. apocalypse and so on. If you look at those documents, there's no doubt that um, you know that there was a sense of scripture, and you're right because almost all of the f uh, primary source materials that I came across. But, but were you giving the four arguments that I gave that I gave uh, you yes, so, so he knows one, where we're at? Number one, you talked about the covenant. You talked about the covenant. Whether the covenant is a scripture? Yeah, I agree. Point one, agree. Shake my hand a bit. Okay. Yes, uh, Bob, shake. Yes, now we all agree. Yeah. What was the second no, no, no. one? No, Number two. Keep going, keep going. Second one. Primary source materials. Looking at the dedicate. Looking at those things, there was a sense of scripture because they were quoting them. Yeah. You said that for example And reading them. In, yeah, yeah. In Matthew community. was being quoted. Luke was being quoted, right? And yep. read in community. Uh, and you agree that those were all being quoted very early. Yes, hundred percent. I cannot you. disagree with yeah. that. How could I disagree with that? I have to put that forward, right? Third. Third, Third point you said that in the uh, New Essie. Testament itself. In the New Testament, yeah. Yeah, you said in the New Testament itself, and you mentioned Peter. Two Peter chapter two Peter three. chapter three, yeah. He mentioned that actually 
he said that the books of Paul were scripture. He says, so, yeah, yeah, books of Paul. It refers were, to the letters of Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once again, the fourth one. What was the fourth? The fourth one was the Essenes, the Essene community. There was thousands of Essene. There was uh, a number of Essene communities around Palestine. Yes. That did copy scripture. Yes, right. So that's. So copy. there was already a Absolutely. sense of the importance of scripture Absolutely. in the time of Jesus. And you also mentioned just to tell it. But that would have been Old Testament scripture, not New Testament. Yeah, but but what the point what oh, I was yeah, making? Don't, don't contradict him. But, the, but, no, no, but, but, I mean, on a historical yeah, point, yes, yes, it's not a doctrinal yeah, point. Yeah, but yeah, contradict yeah, yeah, doctrinal but, point. But, but, the point what I was trying to the point point what I was trying to get at yeah. it, it, because there was a community of copying it's a culture, scripture. It's a culture, there was a culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with that. Alright, so please don't contradict him again. No, 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 no. Don't try and play us off. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I want to ask you a question. No, no, I haven't. Oh, there's no more point. And then the Gnostics. The Gnostics. The point he also made. Was that he said that the Gnostics, the Gnostics, who, as you know, were a very early community who had this theology, which I don't think any Christian variety of theology. They believed in uh, God, the, the, the evil God versus the you know the, the good God and all that stuff. And they had eleven. I think they had eleven books in their canon, by the way. No, yeah? no, the, the Gnostics were different groups. Like. They yeah, just yeah, one. yeah, yeah. There wasn't one. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's a it's a general uh, it's, it's a general umbrella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was definitely a different to canon to the yeah. one now. Now my question remains. Different canons, but but. They quoted, yes. they quoted the New Testament, but right. the New Testament never quoted No them. problem. Perfect. No, look, actually, you could argue, by the way, some scholars do argue that some, um, that John had some implicit references to, to, the, Gnostic, uh, to the Gnostics, but I don't want to go into that. It's, it's, a, it's a peripheral point. What I wanted to say was this. My question is just one, and any Christian here is welcome to help me with this answer, because I'm, you know, I'm trying to learn from you guys. You've done a, you've done a degree in uh, John. Religion. You, John, you've done a degree in uh, religion. religion. And yeah. Jason, you done a degree. I've got a degree, yeah. In yeah theology. So, so I'm I'm surrounded by knowledge right now, yeah? My question to you is as follows. Athanasius, as far as my reading of history goes, he's the one who had the short he had a short list of the 27 books of the New Testament. Yeah. Yes? That 27 books, those 27 books of the New Testament, they were taken and now obviously these are the ones that are part of the canon, the, the usual canon, canon of the yep. of the Christian. Yep. I have only one question. Who gave him biblical authority to be able to make a final judgment on what constitutes the Bible? That's my only question. Well, so I, I, I would say I would say that your your question is flawed. And it's flawed because you're basing your question upon a misunderstanding of what the church is and how its authority works. Are you a Catholic? I'm a Christian. Are you, are you Catholic or I'm a Christian, I just follow Christ. Well are you are you, do you believe in apostolic succession? I, 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 yeah, I do believe in apostolic like, and, and to what extent do you believe in it? Do you believe in it? I, um, if you, do you I'll, believe in the Pope? I will answer. I will answer. Do you, do you Mohammed. Ma no, I don't. So, in, in, terms of, in, terms of, in terms of the question, the question yeah. itself is flawed. Because the scriptures, if you read them carefully, like the beginning of Luke, the end of John, it says things like, you know, there, there are many who amongst of us are taken down to written accounts. And I have written this orderly account for you, Theophilus, so that you might know the certainty of that which you believe. That's in the first chapter of Luke. So in other words, Theophilus believed yes. in the gospel before yes. the gospel of Luke was written. Yes? yes. You, you, you agree with that logic? Yes. Right. And in the book of John, right at the end, yes. it says, and we know that our Lord Christ did many works and many miracles. Yes. And I suppose if they were all written down, yes. the, the whole world could not contain the books that would be written. So in other words, John is saying, I haven't written down everything. Yes. There's things I've left out. Yes. And Paul writes in his letter to the Corinthians, yes. he says in my earlier letter. Yes. Now he says that in 1 Corinthians. Yes. Now if he says that in 1 Corinthians, that means that 1 Corinthians yeah, is actually yeah. really yes. 2 Corinthians. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Because, but, but Paul's uh, so my point, other letters that he, he exactly. might... Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, now yeah. let us do a thought experiment. Yes. You did a master's in history, did you not? I did one master's in history. You did one master's in history. And what was, your, what was the question? There's lots of things. Which yeah. <laughs> so, so in terms of dealing with this as historical literature, yes. would you agree with me that the evidence of scripture itself testifies 
that A, other scriptures were written that we don't now have. Yes. And that B, those scriptures that are written were written by a believing community to a believing community and about a believing community. I think the second point is it could be disputed, but I will, I will agree with it for the sake of argument. Okay. Yeah. So therefore, therefore, yes. this is why your question is flawed. Why though? Because you're saying that the authority of the believer yes. depends upon the book. And I am saying that the evidence of the scripture is clear. The authority of the scripture depends upon the community. Right, okay, perfect. But, no, no, but can, wait, can I, I say wait, something? Wait, wait, we have a difference. Can I say something? We Sorry, do have a difference. Can I do say something? Yeah. In the, in the study of um, what, what's referred to as heresiology, uh, yeah? Heresiology. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a word. It's a mouthful. Go on. Yeah? Um, obviously, an intellectual historian, yeah, would not look at it in the way that you've just said because. No, 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 don't carry Historians no, according to mind, to no, no, do you mind if I, I'll respond? Okay. Do you mind if I just okay. make this point? I, yeah. I, I apologize yeah, if, if I'm cutting you off. But what I mean to say is that, um, for example, um, historiographies, which are books about heresy, yeah? yeah? So, for example, today I think both of you are agreed that the Gnostic community are heretic. Yeah, they were heretic. And, and you also agree that other communities. Like that, the Aryans. Like the Aryans are also heretic. Yeah. Too. And the Abionites. But, but it, from, a, from, a, from an intellectual academic perspective, it's fine for a believing community to believe in that. We also have the same thing in Islam, yeah? yeah. We also have the same issue. If you're a Sunni, you're going to call everyone else, you know, heretic. And, and that's, 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 a, that's an ensured part. It's called the narcissism of small difference. We're always going to have it, right? What's your point? My point is this, is that you can't say a believing community from an from a intellectual historical perspective has no weight. What we're talking about is this. I didn't say that. I said exactly the opposite of that. Actually, Mohammed. Mohammed, yeah. let because uh, I also have a question for you. But I have a, uh, can I just? Okay, I have, I have when you two have said to me, can I come in? Because we have we have just a, a, a difference yeah, just, difference on epistemology. Can I just make no, 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 I apologize, I apologize. Can I suggest if we start descending yeah. into the right to speak that we time it so everyone gets a right? No, to speak. Of, course, of course. But yeah. I just want just just give me ten seconds. I'm not, I know. All right, right, ten seconds. But then let me reply. Yes. And then let me ask you a question. You believe in the Bible. You believe in the Bible. The New Testament corpus is, is uh, comprising of twenty-seven books. Yeah. This is the Bible that you read and you think is the word. Of God. My question is, Athanasius is the one who told us that the 27 books belong to that Bible. How? Why do you believe in his his testimony? Why? Why is he right? My okay. question. Yeah. So, so allow me to address that question. And who gave him the authority? Well? Allow me to address that question. But, but I also want to ask you a question because Muslims have an even deeper problem. No, but can we do one? No, thing no, 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 no. Let, don't, don't, don't dodge. Muslims have an even deeper problem. No, but I'm talking no, about no, the Bible. No, 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 Muhammad, Muhammad. Don't dodge because Muslims. I'm, I'm have, talking about. Yeah, the Bible. We're, we're, I'm, not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to change the I'm topic. Not, I'm not going to change the topic. Okay, perfect. But I, I because we're talking about what happened 2,000 years ago in Palestine. So we need to assess all the evidence and all the arguments. So the argument of Muslims, that's you, yeah, says I'm that. I'm speaking as a historian, Muhammad, not Muhammad. As a Muslim. Yeah, that, no, that's fine. I can do that as well. So let's do that then. Right, then let's do that because yeah. the Quran says that 2,000 years ago, a document called the Injil was given to a man called Isa. Now, I, I will now answer your question, but when you come back to me, I want you to answer my question. Yes. Because as a, as a, as a historian, speaking as a historian, yes. I'm categorical and absolutely certain yes. that history gives us no evidence of that. that this Injil ever existed. That's an argument from silence. Ever. That's an argument from history. No, that's called an argument from no, no, no. We, we, no, no, no. We will Did you know that? No, no, one second. Did you know one that? Second. Uh, one second. John I know about the argument. I know, I know about that's an argument from silence. I know about the argument from silence. So what's an argument from silence? An argument from silence is when you try to construct a reality based upon silent witness. No, no, that's Why? not what it is. However, however, no, no, one okay. second. Oh. Mohammed, I'm just Mohammed, yeah. where I, I would I would present to you, you agree with me. It's an argument you, you, no, no, but this is the point. Uh, no, it's a good argument because when historians but that's what they say. No, hold on. When historians construct history, yeah, speaking as historians now, not as Muslims and Christians, yeah. when historians construct history, they gather the evidence that is available yes. and construct a narrative but, but based you, upon what evidence is available. John, John, In other words, that is the, the question, only no, way I, I that we construct history. I did ask you a question. Now I'll answer your question. Yeah. Now I'll answer your question. But I do want you to come back to me on the Injil. I have already, by okay. the way. I no, you haven't. You haven't. Silence. Because you've distorted yeah. the historical process. No, no, no. Historians. Historians. I'll ask you a question yeah. before you answer mine. Right. Because I feel like 
I feel like this needs to be gotten out of the way of, right? You said that an argument from si you, you defined an argument from silence as an argument where there's no witness testimony or a silent witness testimony. Yep. I'm saying an argument from silence works in a very similar way as an argument from ignorance, which is that the lack of historical evidence is cited as an evidence. And historians reject that as an evidence because if you say that... No, they don't. Okay, so why from silence? Because that's a philosophical argument, not a historical no, no, no. one. His I can tell you... No, 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 you're, conf you're, you're confusing, no, no, no. You're confusing a, a, yes, a, yes. a logical argument in philosophy with the historical no, but process. The, but the how do, you and I both know how the historical process works, or you should do if you did a master's in it. Yes. What they do is they but take... That, that's what they say, I've read that. Though. Right, so what they do is they I've take... The no, but then they take the evidence... Have you read it? Be honest, they what's take that? evidence. Sorry, sorry, can I ask? Can I get no, 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 one second. Have you read, He's have trying you read to run away from the point. I'll let I'm you not, I'm really not. I'm you really are. Guys, 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 can I just say, Mohammed, I'd let you two talk, but you've got to bring me in as well, please. How do historians, how do historians construct history? Do they say, well, no, no, if, no, you're right, you're right. Thank you. No, you're right. Thank well, you. What I'm saying is, what, 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 can so I? So, based upon the evidence, no, no, no. is there any proof of an injury? Based upon the evidence, is there any proof can of an injury? Can, 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 can I make a point? Yeah. When you're making a claim, a positive claim against something, and you and you cite the lack of evidence of something as an evidence, let me give you an example. Right? Let me give you an easy example. Yeah. yeah. You believe in the Dead Sea Scrolls? You know the Nag Hammadi, uh, the Nag Hammadi discovery. Yeah. When did it happen? Oh, uh, I don't. It was 1900s and something. 1945, yeah? yeah. You agree, yeah? The Nag Hammadi, as you know, it was something which was discovered in the desert somewhere. Yeah, in I Egypt. Think it was in Egypt, yeah? In Aswan, I think, I don't know. But basically, it was a collection of scrolls. Collection of scrolls Gnostic right? writings. Gnostic writings, yeah, yeah. including the Gospel of Thomas, if I'm not, yeah, if yeah. I'm not, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. All right? Yeah, I've read the book. Bro. So, 1945, they discovered these things. Yes. Quite recently, they discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls. They discovered many different books. Now, the point is, before 1945, let's say 1935, yeah. where they didn't dig up the, you know, the desert and so on. I've got you, Mohammed. No, you get it? I've got no, you. No, I was going to say... I'm, you're in trouble. No, 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 no please. No, you're no. in trouble. John, John, I don't need to be in trouble. We're learning from each other. It's not yeah. about... It's not a boxing match. Oh, come on, it's come more on. fun. No, 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 it's not. John, John. <laughs> The truth should be sincere, right? Yeah, but honestly, right? Jason, yeah, we've had a good discussion. We've had a good, we want to keep it nice. I think we can, we, we're both capable of it. We've had, a good we've, discussion. Had, we've had them in private, this discussion. So I'm once, sure. once, once. Yeah, for five if, minutes. If we could do hey, it in private. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Right. So what I'm saying is that if the Nag Hammadi text in 1945 were discovered, 1935, where they were not discovered, if someone said, oh, such a thing does not exist, and they were only just discovered in 1945, that would be an argument from silence, which would in fact be disproven 10 years later. Except that, and here's where you're in, in trouble is that is that the historian? Oh, he's got me yeah, I, have, I really have, Mohammed. I really oh, have got you. I really have got you. Really have got you. Because oh, I'm done wins. <laughs> so, so Mohammed, come down for the okay. camera. Come down. Right. So, so the point is, Mohammed. The point is, Mohammed, is that historians never denied that the Gnostics existed. Yeah. Why? They didn't wait until 1945 and then said, oh look, we've discovered this new group called the Gnostics. Yeah. They knew about the Gnostics from year dot. And why? Because the Gnostics were spoken about in the Church Fathers. Yes, yes. So this isn't an argument from silence. We're arguing from what the evidence says. The Quran makes a claim about history. Everything we know about history contradicts that claim. The Quran says there should be a book called the Injil. We have absolutely no evidence of its existence at all. None. Zero. Yeah, but no, hold on. So hold on one second. No, but you, but you saw, you, you're so. But do you agree? Do you agree that no. the New Testament that I have yes. was quoted by the Church Fathers? Yes. Right. So no, 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 not all of the New Testament. Can I, can I be, can I be uh, particular about this? Which part of the New Testament yeah, was yeah, it? Yeah, can, can, I, can, I, can I be particular? About it? Yeah, of course. Can, can I make a point? My, my, yeah, go on. Let, we've talked a lot. Go on. Can I make a point? No, can, can I just? Can I make a point? No, no, no. Let, let, let him can tell. Can I make a point? In history, there is the issue of uh, the argument of silence. Yes. There's something. It's not been found. Yes. And someone claims that that's evidence for its non-existence. For its non-existence. It, the, uh, the historian doesn't necessarily have to take that on board, but 
Yes. But yes. we have a weight of evidence. There's a weight of evidence yes. that's confirming yes. our position that he's saying yes. about the New Testament. No, I, I agree. And so, 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 so no, he I'm has a point in what he's your saying. Approach, Jason, but you again. have a point what you're saying. Your approach, I have to commend you for your approach. And I think, I'll commend you as well. You haven't been completely you know, out of order. I think both of you have been alright. Thank I you like so much for your judgment, Mohammed. So, so I'm, I'm blessed. He, he's, to, he's, he's going with I'm just you. But in, in, his, in, yes. in history, yes. the argument of silence yes. is not used as a good argument. But that's perfect. So, Jason, right now, what you've accepted is that, that just because. You, something has not been discovered, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. All right. yeah. no, but, so we'll but, but we have evidence. That's we'll not my argument though, is it? Yeah. What I'm saying... No, I know it's my argument. Because the Quran is making a statement in history. And yeah. here are the statements. One, that there was a Muslim prophet called Jesus. Two, that he yeah. received a document called the Injil. Yes. And three, that his followers would be victorious until the day of resurrection. Yes, John. Right. Yes, but John. all of history contradicts those claims. The, it's like me no, no, saying... No, no, now you're using no, no. the word contradiction. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. If I said... But do you have a historical right to use the word contradiction? One second, yes. If, yes, I do. No, no, if, you if, don't. Uh, one second. If I said... If I said yes, that there was, yeah. if I said that yeah. there was a city called Atlantis, yes, that was sunk into the sea, yes, okay, yes, right, that's a historical claim, yes. What would you do? Uh, in what part of the sea? Right, you would start investigating it, right? Yes. And if you looked for evidence, yes, and you continue to look for evidence, yes, and you continued not to find evidence, what yes. would you conclude? You'd be agnostic. You'd be agnostic. Yes. Right. So thank you for agreeing that every Muslim in this corner should be agnostic about the belief no, no, in the Indian. Thank you. As a historian, I'm talking about a, historial, uh, a historian's perspective, right? I'm not That's what I'm doing. You said, no, no, you said Muslim. I, I'm not bringing religious belief into this. But we are talking about religion. <laughs> no, no, no. What I'm saying is that... For Me example, and you are speaking by the way, as historians, I'm talking to all the Muslims can, can, around can, us. But John, sorry. Do you know this actually happened, what you said? Yeah, I know. People have investigated no, no, all no, kinds no, no, of no, historians. No, no, what you just said there, because you keep digging a hole for this. Well, okay, I'm not really. Not really. Not really. Right. Can I just say something? No, no, Jason, please, I, I haven't, because it's both of you. This I, actually I, happened. So there was a, there's a city in the Quran, it's called Iram. And Iram... Uh, um, obviously, it was in, it mentioned in the Quranic discourse, yep. but it wasn't mentioned in any other place. Yeah. But lo and behold, they found a city called Ur, I R, in the desert, which corresponded with the Quranic discourse. Well, now, the Bible has the same thing, but he actually called it Ur, not Iram. Yeah, so no he actually problem. called it Ur, so it, the Bible was okay. more accurate historically uh, than the Quran. No, okay, you're going in from one point to another. Well, no, sometimes it's called, it's called Ur, you said it. But Genesis says the city of the Ur, call it Ur, and 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 yeah, the Quran the says Iram, and what it's what Arabized. you said it. Those were your words. It was called John, Ur. No, 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 so Genesis what, was more what, accurate what, than the Quran. What, what language was the uh, uh, thing written in? Let's let's stick to that topic. Just stick to the main topic. Was written in English? Let's yeah, say, oh, I owe you an answer. <laughs> I owe you an answer. John, I owe on. you an answer. Come Mohammed. on, John. Mohammed, I owe you an answer. <laughs> I owe you an answer. So you asked the question about the authority yeah, that so Athanasius yeah, yeah, had right, to so describe can I, can the New I, can Testament. Can I ask the question one more time? So that, yeah, 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 of course. Can, can, yeah. can, consult with well, can I just say something quickly? Yes, of course. Yeah, quickly. Yes, yes. I'm coming at it from a reformed perspective. Yes, of course. So it's a slightly bit different from Bob's perspective on the issue of the canonization. I mean and, and when I give you my argument... His name is John. When I give you my argument... In his head. <laughs> I gave you my arguments from Dr. Kruger from Reformed Theological Seminary okay. and my own research. Please, yeah, go ahead. And from the Reformed perspective. Yes, yes, so it's yeah. a slightly bit different from Bob's perspective. Yeah, go ahead, Jason. Although we agree on many things. Yeah. Just saying. Right, so Jason, yeah, you go. So, but yeah. I'll let you two talk. I just wanted to say that. Okay. No, no, uh, no, what's the point that you want to make? Yeah, so so yeah. you, you, put, you put more emphasis on the importance of the church. Yeah. yeah. Where epistemol epistemologically, yes. when we were talking, Yes. I was putting more emphasis on the inherentness of the scripture as an authority okay. in self-authenticating itself in the community. Yes. Okay. So it's about the church recognizing the self-authentication. Yes. So yeah. there's a slightly and that and that is and that is the so two I, the two I, positions are not contradictory. Can I, can yeah, the I, can I, the I'm just talking to his point now. All right, right. One moment. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. The, the, the complement one another. Because the church did go through a process of recognizing what was scripture. So are you saying, it did go through that process. Can I just understand the difference? So are you, are you saying that 
you're saying that you're you're coming from like traditionally you'd call it a more Protestant um, kind of um, it's reformed Calvinistic position. All right, so you're coming at it saying that the the uh, the, uh, the, the, the the scripture is the authority and the, within it. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then the believers the community recognizes recognizes that authority. Yeah. Whereas you're saying that actually the believers create the authority for the scripture. What I'm saying is that the the the, the in terms of defining what is in the canon, yes. it is a, a council of the church. It is the church talking to itself. And if in the process of it talking to itself, yes. it recognizes the authenticity of a document and declares that canon. So the two positions then, don't contradict no, no, one hold another. On, that it seems to me like what you're saying is completely different. No, it really isn't. Can I ask you, can I tell you why? There isn't no, a, it doesn't. There, if you read the source, if you read the Westminster Confession, it talks about that scripture uh, is beautiful, uh, it's a unity, and so within within the scripture there is this self-authenticating by the Holy Spirit that it is scripture, right? Yes. So to itself. Yes. Whereas the more uh, I'm not saying you're Catholic or anything, but the Catholic view is, is that more is that the church gives the boundaries of authority of what is scripture. So what do you think is more correct? Do you think that because I'm a little bit confused so now? I'm the pro but, but I mean, but it has I mean, to be you're, you're, you, you're playing the rhetorical game are seeking to play me and Jason off on one of Well, he knew this at the beginning. And, 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 what, and what I'm saying, what I'm saying is sorry, that John, the I'm, two I'm, positions I'm, don't contradict one No, no, John, sorry. I'm, I'm really trying to understand. I'm, that's what I'm doing, yeah? But the two come together because, yes. because yes. the scriptures inherently yeah. authenticate themselves, but it's, it, the community recognizes that authenticity. I, sorry, and I, he's, he's emphasizing that authenticity. How the scriptures authenticate themselves? They're an inanimate. Oh, the ultimate authority is God. So, Would you agree? Yes. It's about recognizing truth. You would agree a man can recognize truth from falsehood, right? Yeah. Otherwise, why are you here well, giving dawah? Using what method? Though? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, but you agree that the search for truth is not in vain. Yes. That people can discover yes. truth. Yes. Right. So that is the point that we're making. But the John, scriptures. Can I, can I one second. Yeah. One second. Yeah. Yeah. So the scriptures yeah. contain the truth of the apostolic teaching, yeah. and the church recognizes that in distinction to those things that yeah. veer off. Yeah. So are you saying, can I, can I ask a question then? So these you, positions are not contradictory. So, but he's saying that the, uh, the, 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 the authority itself is inherent within the scripture, of the scripture. And you're saying that the believing community is what gives the scriptures the authority of being recognized as the scriptures. And you're saying, you're trying to argue that these two things are mutually exclusive. And no, I'm, I'm saying that they're complementary. No, I'm just saying, no, no, let me ask yeah. a question So again. they're complementary. So bearing those two view points in mind, which are complementary. Which in your mind are complementary. Yep. We'll leave it to the viewers to decide. Yeah, of course. They are Absolutely. Yeah, people can make up their own mind. No problem. My question is this. We talked about Athanasius. Yeah. What you said, and I remember what you said now, and Jason, you heard it as well. You said that the, ca the council was talking to itself. The church had a ca the church in the process of choosing oh, was yeah. giving a council to itself. Council one, as in advice, but, discussion, all right, discourse. But, all right. So not not a formal council. No, well, there, there were formal councils. But on the on the question, there were of, formal councils. So, uh, John, my question is, what formal council took place to decide what would be the New Testament? Sorry, the community. No, no, let me ask the question. What, repeat the question. The again. question is simple. What formal council took place, which had as a main issue of discussion, what would be comprised of the 27 or uh, the, uh, the books of the New Testament? There were multiple. The Give council in Carthage, 410. Uh, that council, are you saying, hold on, because this is actually problematic. No, it isn't. Can I tell you why it's problematic? You can try. Yes, because Athanasius, with his short list of 27 books, yes. don't mind, sorry, I apologize. He preceded that council. Correct. And he gave you the short list of 27 books yes. before the council. And the council adopted affirmed it yes and so why where's the problem the problem is this is that it wasn't i'm talking about you said that the ca there was you're making it seem as if there was a consultation process there was sorry excuse me uh, let me just i'm trying, we're trying to get to the bottom this 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 discourse wait, wait. was going on within the church as a whole here's my question you're making it seem as if there was a consultation process and an ultimate consensus that was then reached That's to correct. decide to decide these 27 books of the New Testament are in fact 27 books of the New Testament. Yeah. What I'm saying to you is, history begs to differ with that position. No, it doesn't. I'll tell you why. Can I put forward an argument? You can put forward an argument. Okay, okay. okay. But I disagree Fine. with the premise. So we agree. No, 
you don't. I, I haven't said my sentence. Come on, please. And then you can disagree with me after. I, I'm not stating now your premises are wrong. No, no, no. Well, you haven't even heard them. You're poisoning no, the world. No, no. You, 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 you yeah, yeah. gave right. your premises, and now you're going to give your argument. I'm right. saying your premises are wrong. Right. Let me just make the, the argument. I'm sure that many of the points I might be making might be flawed, and that's why you guys are here they to correct are. me. Yes. But you have to do so with evidence and reference. Of course. Okay. Which I'm sure you will do. Yeah. You're both here yeah. together. Yeah. Now, the, the question I'm saying is this: is that you, we all agree that different groups that um, that self identified as Christian, yep. the early Christian church, yep. when referring to the Gospels, were referring to or had different books and canons. No. Now let me give an example, which we all agreed upon on camera, right? One of the examples is Gnostics, which of course are not seen as Christians by the majority. So, so you, you, you're immediately you're immediately fudging your, fudging your own goalposts. That's a self-identified Christian. The Gnostics, Gnostics, you, you're trying to bring in a group yes. that are not Christian no, about I, a discussion I, on Christian texts. Are, are we talking about hist history? Yeah, yeah, we are. Can we go on the history? Yeah, yeah. Can I just bring no, 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 sorry, sorry. on the because Gnostics? Because I know a bit about Hist it. Historically, we said we're moving away from this whole Hi 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 historiography of they're the right group and we're the wrong group, the narcissisms of small differences. We're saying, I use my words very carefully, but you, you're usually quite shrewd, yeah? But you didn't listen to what I said. I said self-identified Christians. I yes. didn't say Christians. Which are not part of the historical no, argument, but, but, are they? John, please. I said self-identified Christians. If I say Ahmadis are self-identified Muslims, I don't believe that they're Muslims. I don't. Exactly. But they they identify themselves as Muslims. So would it be fair of me to make pronouncements Announcements about the no. development of Islam based upon the evidence of the Ahmadiyya. If they were the early community, would it? Yes. If they were the early community, it would be right. So, yeah. so well, that brings up the issue of your. So, so that that brings up the issue of why Shia and Sunni can't agree about your hadiths. The earliest no, community let's not, let's of Muslims. Discussion. It's 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 parallel to the debate. But you are criti well, you're criticizing. You're trying to criticize the Christian faith based upon debate. We can talk about Christians. We can talk about Hold on one I second. The, the, have a, one second, Mohammed. We, about we are. You're Mohammed. trying. We got on, go on, one second. One second. second. We won't. We won't. We'll come back to him. It, it we'll was, come back to him. Mohammed. Say, not me. Why is but it? People will say. No, 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 no. Why is it? Muslims are always frightened to see the parallels in their own religion. I'm, I'm not frightened. Right. So if you're not frightened, let's let me make the parallel. Islam let's for the sake no, of let's argument. not. Let's I mean, talk about Islam right, as well as Christianity. We did talk about epistemology and presuppositions, and that that means he can talk about your presupposition, which is your canon. No problem. I agree. But no, no, Mohammed. No, no, I'm going to make a point because you've spoke for a while. So Athanasius, right. he got. Yeah, I'm going to deal with. I'm going to deal with Athanasius, yeah. and I'm going to deal what with the fact. Well, for example, let's so compare point. Athanasius to the Moratonian Canon. Do you know about the Moratonian Canon? Of course you do, because you've got this great masters in history, and you know all about the Canon process, right? Do you know about the Moratonian? Are you, uh, are you, uh, are you a bit I, jealous of my I'm mocking you. I'm mocking you. I'm mocking you. <laughs> Don't be so, jealous, brother. I'm mocking you. you can so, so, get so, so, do you know about the Moratonian Canon? You can teach me about it. Right. So, is that a yes or a no? You do or you don't? Do you know it? No. Right. Okay. I'm ignorant. Right. So he doesn't know about the Moratonian canon. Yes. So we'll go that must mean and, and how, how, and how yeah, we're going to and we're going to and we're going to deal with the Moratonian canon, the letter of Athanasius, and yeah. why the whole logic of argument that Muhammad is now using is totally flawed, because Muhammad is trying to discredit the Christian faith because of debates within the early church, with the debates within the early church about our canon of scripture. That debate was settled by Christians by 410 AD. Muslims today still can't agree upon which hadiths are reliable. They all claim to have this brilliant science of hadiths, and yet Sunni don't trust Shia hadith, and uh, Shia don't trust Sunni hadith. So why then, when you use the hadiths to interpret the Quran, is this not discrediting your faith, but a debate that happened similar to the one that is still going on amongst Muslims today, yes, yes. that we Christians actually managed to come to a reconciled answer on, yes. discredits our faith. Now let's I think deal. You make a good point. Let, uh, now, can let's I, deal can with I agree the, with you on a point? Okay. Let, can, I, can I agree with and you? And then I'll deal with the Muratorian yeah. and the Athanasian. I think you're right to compare, to some extent, the hadith and the uh, and what do you call it and the, and the canon of scripture. Yeah, because Ibn Taymiyyah in his book he wrote a book called a jo uh, Sahih, uh, which means like the the right reply, right? And in here in it he does the same thing. In fact, he says that the gospels and I think what he 
was referring to was the four Gospels, which he said that has no senate, which means it has no chain of narration, has no provenance. Yeah. Um, and that was his main criticism. He said that they have no provenance, but he said that uh, those Gospels can sometimes be seen, where it doesn't contradict the Quran, to be quite similar in rank to, for example, a weak or fabricated hadith, etc. But the point is, we should be comparing like for like. The hadith is good, and I agree with you that there are lots of fabricated hadith and weak hadith which we should reject. But you're not agreeing with me that the, the, the gospel should be rejected. Hadiths are not the same as the no, no, but when were the hadith? Here's the, here's where, the, where was the first Jason, copy Jason. Of, of Bukhari? 200 years yeah. after Muhammad. No, 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 when was the same. first, when was the, when were the gospels written? I mean, you're a historian. Well, it depends on which one we're talking about. All of them. All of the gospels. So, so the, is the last date that we can synop, say synoptic, confidently? The synoptic, the all the gospels. When were they all concluded to be written? 95? 95 AD. So our Gospels are far no, closer, pre uh, far closer to but, the reality but that's some, uh, that's than your Hadith. But that's a good qu uh, question, but it's falsely un understood. Let me tell you why, right? Is your understanding of Bukhari... I want to get on to Athanasius no, 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 and the Mauritonian canon. Corrected. This has to be corrected, because yeah. to be fair, you might. I, I see that you have done a bit of research when it comes to oh, Christian early history. Thanks, I, Gene. That's really kind of you. No, no, no. But when it comes to, <laughs> would, you accept, would you accept that maybe your knowledge of Islamic early history is not strong. Um, yeah, I think that'd be a fair. That's fair. Alright, so would you accept me if I were to give you um, evidences? I want to see the evidence. Right, so for example, Bukhari, right? Yep. Say he died 230 AH. After Hijra. After Hijra. So Muhammad's long dead by he, this point. Uh, Prophet Muhammad died at 11 AH. Yeah. So a good 220 years after Muhammad. Bingo. Alright. They are different. No, but John, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you what you yeah, want to hear. Yeah, go on. I'm waiting right, for the so evidence. What I was going to say. Don't, they, 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 they don't like the it. Assumption, <laughs> the, assumption, the assumption is. The You're assumption. losing your dawah channels. <laughs> You're losing the debate, but it's okay. <laughs> well, by saying it doesn't make it true. Yeah. But what I was gonna say was that. Not what you wish, huh? Yeah? <laughs> 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 uh, That'll look, teach John, me. <laughs> can I tell you something? Let's keep it. Let's keep it diplomatic. People don't want to yeah. see this kind of thing. No, we're, we're, look, all, we're, we're all. We're no one's been unfriendly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean and you're a big guy. You can defend yourself. So. Yeah, and, uh, don't be a soy boy. No, Come right. on. So what I was gonna say was, uh, John. I was gonna say that, for example. Your assumption is that Bukhari, because of his compilation of the hadith, that those hadiths were, were non-existent before his time. And what I want to tell you is that they were actually existent in oral and written form. And I have evidence for that. I'd like to see okay, it. Okay, so the evidence, for example, uh, Abu Bakr as siddiq as I'm sure you're aware of, he's the second caliph, uh, the first caliph after the Prophet Muhammad He lived with him. He wrote a book. He wrote a book himself of hadiths called Kitab al Zakat. So we still have this book? Yes. Okay, how many? Look, can I tell you? Wait, When's the first copy? Wait, wait, can, I, can I tell you? And how many hadiths are in no, it? No, no, there's a few hadiths on it. There's a few? No, no, not a few, not a lot. No, there's, there's a lot of hadiths. How many? What's the number? Uh, it no, it depends on the nuskha. It, dep it depends on the. the no, this is an important question. Wait, can because I, can we I ask you? no no hold on. Because we know how yes. many hadiths later Bukhari. Muslims had yeah. by building up uh, Sahih no, no, Bukhari no, and Muslim. Yeah, yeah, and we've no, got the John, number. John, John, I appreciate, but can I? Can so I if that point? if that number no, of the earlier guy but, but, doesn't match the later number, then something's gone wrong. You taught me today about the Morat was it, was it, was it, was it, the Moratonian canon. Yes. Okay. So can I? This is something of my tradition. I, I wish to yeah. to tell you about, uh, which is that it was. Just, I'm giving you one example. Abu Bakr Siddiq. So, Amr ibn As, can, can I want to investigate that. No, no, that I, I will definitely tell you. Okay. Abu Bakr Siddiq, Amr ibn As, Ali ibn Abi Talib, all of those uh, Sahaba, which was, uh, which were companions of the Prophet, lived with him, wrote books which were which were around and incorporated and compiled by Bukhari. Right. And Bu so Bukhari's mission was not to make his own hadith. It was to put together the strongest in terms of chain on authenticity. Hadiths that existed already, and so he took, for example, those books of uh, Abu Bakr and uh, Ali and so on. Yeah. So that's one point. So that, why that, do the Shia reject them? The Shia reject them. That's a good question because they don't accept Abu Bakr. Right. So the point yeah, yeah, is, yeah. the point for is theological reasons. So exactly. So you're making an argument yeah, yeah, yeah. about the uniformity of scripture no, no, I didn't make an when your own or your own scripture is non-uniform. No, no, no. Can I tell you something? Muslims do not agree. John, John, sorry, the, 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 the lack of agreement of some. 
something is not a proof of its uh, falsity. Because Thank you. Remember he said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lack of agreement of something is not a proof of its falsity. There we go. Otherwise, I'm all glad of, you said that. Otherwise, all of our religions would be false. Right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad, we, I'm glad we've established yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so, glad we've established so, that. So, so, the point right, is, so now let's go to Athanasius and the Moratorium. Can I tell you something, right? From, ori from an Orientalist perspective, yeah. Orientalist, um, Western, unbiased kind of, uh, seemingly unbiased, right? But they have their own Orientalist. Uh, Everyone's got prejudice. Bias. Yeah. Those guys, when they look at the, the historical data, many of them accept the Sahaba as an, a legitimate um, authority of, uh, of transmission. Now the reason why they do so is because they don't see the theological argument that the Shia put forward. So looking at it from a strictly historical perspective, I think we've come to different results. I wasn't making a, a, an argument of the uniformity of scripture, I was making an argument of the preservation of it. And there's a difference between the two. But going back to what, what I was talking about Athanasius, because we, we've done a lot of I've answered all of your questions. I believe I have. And I've tried to be as, as charitable as possible in doing so, and as honest as possible in doing so, with providing as many evidence as possible. But I think now, the, 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 the burning question that everyone needs to hear the answer to is this you question. You need to hear the answer to Yes, I you need to hear the answer. Wrong. You don't represent everyone I else. You represent yourself. Wrong. Fine, I agree, all right? I need to hear, because I'm confused, let's say. But the question is, when it relates to Athanasius, yeah. we accept, everyone here accepts, he is the one who made the shortlist, 27 books, this shortlist was that he was a political elite connected to Constantine at his time. This shortlist was then taken on board by other councils and thereafter uh, uh, people accept, some accepted it. However, before that time, before, before Athanasius came up with this shortlist, 27 books of the New Testament as we know them today yep. were not seen as the uniform New Testament that we, we there, thereafter saw it as. Yeah. My question is simple. Who gave Athanasius such authority so as to uniformly, unilaterally, unilaterally, autonomously come to a conclusion that those 27 books of the New Testament are the word of God that, for example, the Gospel of Thomas... You've got your major point. For example, major sorry, major point. For, for example the Gospel right, of I'll Thomas let you is not in it. And then I'll and, and sorry, sorry, Revelation, which was about not to be in the Bible, should, uh, should be part of it. Well, Revelation and, moved in and out, didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. you? know the history. Yes, yes, we established, yeah. I did ask you, have you read any of Athanasius works? And you said no. I said yeah. I read through uh, Eusebius. Right. Yeah, but that's not Athanasius. Yeah, yeah. If you read uh, Athanasius Contramundum against the world, you will have the answer to your question. So can, I have, can I have it from you? Because you've read it. Well, yeah, because if you read the book, he's quoting John, Luke, etc. He's doing, wait a minute. But he's, 27 books. He's doing, if you know where Athanasius came from, do you know where he came from? Alexander? Alexander, yeah. He, he, he was quoting the scriptures because... I'm from Alexandria myself. Because... You know, shame you're not a Coptic Christian. Because, A, he believed in hearing through the scripture, and C, the community in... Uh, there were four or five different key areas. There was Gaul, there yes. was Antioch, yes. there was Alexandria. Yes. All these communities yes. were using these scriptures. Yes. So he could always say what was scripture, yes. what the community was saying was scripture. Right, so right. allow me allow me to add to this, yes, because yeah. you, to understand what canon is, we have to understand what the yes. debate was about, where it emerged from, and what they hoped to achieve. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. Do you know where the debate emerged from? Of the canonicity. Uh, about canonicity. Um, so, I know that there was a debate. Yeah, yeah, but I'm asking, do you know why it emerged? I think that answer would have a uniform question. It would, uh, it's central, it's yeah. So, it was, it was to do with the, it was to do with the, the, the well, no, it was actually later. It was the Montanists. So it came. Marcion, Marcion didn't trigger that. I know what he did, so but he didn't so trigger that. So now you're going thing. back to Gnostic times. So, no, no, no. So let, 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 you, you, you want an answer, so let me answer. Yes, sir. So firstly, yeah. um, we canonicity yes. and preservation are not the same thing. Okay. So, so well, they, they to are, conflate, they no, they are connected, but yes. to conflate the two like you're attempting to demonstrates that that you 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 either don't understand the topic or you. 
you're being willful about what argument you're trying to make. Because the, the argument about canonicity yeah, let's stick with that. is not, is not yes, yes. Uh, decisive in questions about preservation. Okay, I you agree with that yes. premise? All right. So when you said, oh, I was making an argument about preservation based on the fact that we've been talking about canonicity for the last 40 minutes, means that your whole argument was based on a false no, premise. No, no, no. Let no, me finish. Let me finish. A, let me finish. No, no, so John, the point, John, you made a comment. Can the I, point can of canonicity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can in your time. All right. The point of canonicity was to decide yes. which book shall be read in the church, not which book shall be read. Now, the, the, the fact of the matter is, early Who, Christians... Can I ask, where did you get this the, 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 just, just by knowing the topic, friend. So, no, but can I, can I have some evidence for it, sir? Yes, of course. Yes, sir. Yeah, because when they were when they were talking, if you... if you, uh, What church are we talking about? The Eastern or the Western? We're, we're talking about the one church, because there was only one church at this time. So in what terms... What we talking about, sir? We're, we're talking about within the first 400 years. So, so in terms of in terms of this so discussion, uh, yeah, it was before Kelsey did. So, in terms of in terms of this, uh, yes, in terms of the the the, the church and this dialogue, yes. it was about which church, which books can be read in the church, which books can be taught in the church, not about which books can be read. So, who, so who, for who made example, that, who made that assertion? I'm trying to give an example. Yeah, yeah. So, an example is yes. that the yes. Shepherd of Hermes was a book popular amongst Christians yes. and widely read by Christians. Okay. It was a book of catechism. As yes. you came into the church, you would yes. be given the Shepherd of Hermes uh, yes. a copy to read if it was available to read. Yes. Now, not all Christians recognize yes. the distinction yes. between that which comes from the apostolic teaching yes. and that which developed from the apostolic teaching, yes. and Christians were confused. Okay. So you would go to some churches, yes. and from the pulpit, yes. they would read the Shepherd of Hermes yes. and teach from it. Okay. And that what the, the argument about canonicity is about is about saying which churches are the the custom the custodian yes. of the apostolic teaching. Yes. So the church in these yes. different centres yes. over a process yes. uh, came to identify what these scriptures are. So the no, but, sorry uh, the Murat yes. go on. So the Muratonian canon, yeah, which is um, mid second century. Yes. So between 100 and 200. How many books did it include? 22. Okay. 22. Which ones were not included? Right, that's the point. Yeah. So in in the in the debate around canonicity, yes. there were discussions about things that were called proto-canonical and di discussions around what was called deuterio canonical. Right, okay. Okay? So a deuterio canonical book was a book disputed. Right. Examples of books. Revelation. Revelation. Okay. Hebrews. Yes. Two Peter. Yes. Two John. Yes. Three John. Yes. These are the kinds of books that were disputed. Yes. Okay? Notice, please note, yes. not the Gospels, which is what you were trying to present it no, as no, earlier. I never said that. No, no, you did. You said the Gospels I, quite I, clearly. No, no, honestly, I never said that. Yeah, you did. Okay, it, if I said that, I'll, I don't know. If I said that, I retract did. that. Because why? I, I want to make this very clear, actually, right now, because I'm happy you said this. I want to make it very clear that from my reading of primary source materials uh, of early church fathers, yeah. that it is quite uh, abundant their references to the four gospels. Thank you. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. No, 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 there's, there's no doubt about that. I see, I've seen it with my own so two eyes. So you accept that the, the church recognized the four gospels? I would say, um, yeah, in terms of the majority of church fathers I came all, across. All church fathers. I, I can't say that because I haven't read all of them. Right. right. But all um, the ones you've read? All the ones I've read, no, but sometimes they may mention two and not the other one. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So, but definitely they mention those, yeah? They do mention those. I've, that's not my argument. But can I just... Sorry, uh, you've, you've made some really uh, valuable points, and I thank you for your enlightening and edifying, uh, you know, segment, and thank you as well. But I just want to come back now and ask the question in a different, maybe different way, because I think where you have provided a lot of edification, there are some unanswered questions here. My question is to do with authority. Okay. Yeah. Now, there was maybe a, a brief way to attempt to try and answer that question. But my question is, we all agree that Athanasius, he's the one who, who made the short list of the 27 books. Yeah. Where before, 27 books were not, there was no consensus that those are the books that were God's word, meant to be read. To, but do you agree that they together. were known? 
Which ones? That all 27 books were known, and that some Christians did recognize them. Well, like all the book of Hebrews. Uh, hold on, uh, that's, a good yeah. that's a good question. Do you recognize them? Uh, let me answer that question. So I think that there's some truth in that claim. For example, if you talk about the 13 books of, supposed books of Paul. The letters, they're, sorry, the le letters of Paul. But they're books in the, uh, yeah, the letters or, uh, <coughs> Oh, Paul, I think from my reading, well, I can, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, many of those have a disputed uh, authenticity. Not many, no. So there's seven that are kind of, un, uh, seven of 13 are undisputed, but the rest of them, there is a discussion, a scholarly discussion on that. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. So, and there was at the time. All right, exactly. Right. So that's exactly why I hesitated in answering the question in one word. But here's what I would say to you then. If we're not sure, would you... We, we are sure. Okay. Uh, but I haven't even said the thing. I haven't even said what I was going to say. Okay, but you're saying we. Speak for yourself, not for me. Okay. You don't I say agree. we, say I. It could be, it could be okay, I apologize. I, I really, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. Uh, no, <laughs> you're the only one that's not sure. Okay, well then you guys are here to teach me, yeah? What I was going to say was, the 27 books of the New Testament. Yeah. yeah. Is it central to the Christian faith that we recognize all 27 books as the Word of God? So th that's a question that Christians have disagreement upon. Okay. Yeah. But all, cri but to be clear, all Christians do recognize the 27 books. So the, the question of its centrality is something that we can discuss. But they, but but they do recognize them. By contrast, Muslims are in disagreement about their hadiths. So if you're going to make any argument about what is the impact of this disputation about canonicity, yes. you should be consistent I am. and apply it to Islam I, I, as well. I've said that to you. I've already told you that Ibn Taymiyyah says he makes the same exact... Yeah, no, no, but then you referred back to the Gospels. We're talking about the Hadith. No, no, no. I agree with you. The Hadith, this is my, this is my position. Let me just make it clear. You're absolutely right. What you said there is absolutely fair enough. And I'll say to you today on camera, while everyone is listening. I think the first member of the Dawa team that's actually willing to be consistent on a principle. Well done. Thank you. Well done, Mahal. Well well I'll say, what I'll say to you guys today, any Hadith which does not withhold the scrutiny of the historical process of preservation will not only be rejected by me, yeah. but will be something I will not accept as, any, uh, as having any authority whatsoever. Can you, can you recommend something we can read on that? Yeah, so there's lots of things we can read on that. Just, just one key book though. Yeah, one book what, that we can go and buy. That we can go and read. Yeah, of course in English. In, in English, yeah. That, wow, man. I don't, I don't it's know. Because you know, it's a dialogue uh, as well as you know. Okay, so, I'll tell you in Arabic. I don't I'll, know. I'll put it. I'll put it under your video. Uh, under yeah, this yeah. Video. In Ar what, 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 what people go through in Arabic, I don't know about English. To be honest, yeah. Uh, although that guy, what's that guy? Osama Hassan, yeah. That guy that believes in his dad, he wrote a book in English. I can't forget the name. No, no. But in Arabic, no. they go through Muhammad al Fikr, yeah. Ibn Hajj al Khalani's book, and then after that, they have got Ibn Salah al Muqaddimah. There's lots of books. Can, can, but sorry, sir. Just, just to, just to give you that give you that benefit of the doubt, because we don't need to contradict each other on points like this. I totally agree with you, yeah? If any hadith has been shown uh, when, when rigorously uh, interrogated from a historical process that it does not have a it does not have a link, a provenance back to the Prophet Muhammad. You're changing your argument, mate. But, yes, but I, I no, you're changing your argument. You've just subtly changed your argument. You've stood here for the last 40 minutes yes. making an argument that confuses preservation with canonization and basing that on the disputes amongst early Christians. When I reversed that and said, but Muslims disagree with the hadith, the, the hadith and yeah. therefore you should be, well, uh, we don't have you, should, you, should, you, should, you should apply similar principles. Well, well, we don't have No, one second. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, now that I, I'm encouraging you to reverse it, now you're changing your argument oh. and you think, because you're, you're introducing something new. You're now saying that, oh, it's actually based upon can we link the book back to its first people. Yeah. Yeah. So now you're changing the thing that we've but just been all, discussing but about that's for all, all minutes. That's what all historians do. No, no, all historians make consistent arguments. No, 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 no. You've let, just changed let, your let argument you in the last five let minutes. Let me tell you why. No, no, you think I have. Yeah. Well, that's exactly, uh, though the camera will show no, it. No, no, John, let me tell you why I haven't. The reason why I haven't is because to know something happened in history, you have to go through witnesses, yeah? You ha no, you have to look through evidence. Of course you do. Uh, Thank you. Of course you do, John. Uh, and there's no doubt about that. 
But the evidence is of witness testimony. No, the evidence yeah, the evidence could be way. anything. Yeah, it can be artifacts, yeah, yes, it can be first hand it. testimony, no, you're right. it can be historical but accounts. Witness testimony as well, yeah? It can include witness like, testimony. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, like it can right. include no problem. So, yeah. Just in the same way as you would probably agree that many of the, the, the gospel writers they might have had interactions with Jesus and therefore you're willing to take their narrations because of the uh, because the, they interacted with Jesus. I'm saying the same thing. But no, so but long have criteria. So long as yeah, everyone has criteria. You've not I would, said I, your I would criteria. put I would put to you though that you don't have a provenance. Can we prove that's a different question altogether, but can we actually prove that the four gospel writers have a provenance all of them back to Jesus Christ? Do we know who they are? Well four? hold on one second because because yeah he is changing the, he's, he's, he's trying to change the argument and he thinks that we haven't spotted it. But we have. But even if no, I make you, a different you, argument, you, you are making actually, a different argument. It's yeah. abandoning the argument okay, let's go about back to it. Let's right. Go, he's okay, no, no, no. Hold on one second. Shaky Stevens. Yeah, he, he is Shaky Stevens. He's <laughs> abandoning the argument about canonicity no, no, because he's he's realised he's realised that he's realised that if he lays down principles about canonicity, they will something? they will blow up in your face okay. in terms of Islam let's talk, let's and the fact that Muslims well, we cannot have, agree about Muslims. Yes, you do. No, hold yeah. on, hold on. Can you prove that? Yeah, yeah. Because prove it, prove yes, it, there it. are there are hadiths. There are hadiths that she. But would you call it canon? Right. But no, you don't call it canon. So what's a canon? You, do, you don't call it. What's canon? a canon? Can you it's, it's an agreed uh, list of books that are reliable to read. Okay, okay, we don't have canon. Right. So you don't have a list of books that are reliable to read. No. So you don't have hadiths that are reliable. No, we have hadiths that are reliable. That's a different question. Okay. No, but you said and can you read them? You can read that, of course you can. Right. But now here's the thing. You're, you're, what you're doing here? Can I can I can I be fair and honest with you? I'm not doing anything. Oh, sorry, Jason. Yeah, he, he he's not Jason. doing anything. And what I was gonna say is you're confusing the the language of. Christianity and Christian scholarship. Fair enough. With I'll, I'll right. take that on the chin. That's no, a fair point. No problem. So what I'm saying is that you're using the word canon. No, no I agree. I agree. Right. I shouldn't use the word canon. Let me tell you something. But you have an equivalent. You have an equivalent. Al Bukhari, which yeah. is according to the Sunni discourse, the most authentic book of Hadith. Yeah. Yeah. By by whose judgment? Unless it's embarrassing, in which case the Dawah team say it's not, because we quote lots of Sahih Bukhari Hadith okay, in this part. Can you talk to and, them and, about and, and it? Muslims, I, I, and Muslims say that they're not believable. I don't, I don't know what they say. I don't, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. My point is this: it's not inconceivable on academic grounds for for someone to go into the Bukhari or a uh, Sahih Muslim, the second most authentic book, and to look at uh, hadith as weak inside of it, like Adar Khutni has done that, and many other scholars have done that. So we don't. Is that the Sahih collection? <laughs> yeah. So there's the, so the the issue of Sahih has been revisited by later Muslims. No, no, no. By early ones. By er, how can an earlier Muslim than Sa than Bukhari? Visit a book that Sahar Bukhari yeah. hasn't read. Yeah, because they were uh, no. contemporaries. You, you, uh, they were contemporaries. Yes. So, okay, fair enough. So he's gone and he's disagreed with Sahih al Bukhari about no. what's reliable and no, what's not reliable. Not in all of the hadiths, in some of them. Yeah. In some of them. Yeah. In some of them. So Bukhari said that these are reliable, and, and then this other guy said, said that no, they didn't. these ones are not yet. Okay. So what we've and now tell me, as a Sunni Muslim, yes. why do you reject Shia hadith? We don't. We reject some of them. Some of them. Why do you reject those <laughs> some? Because they're written by people who are, first of all, they're, they're not narrated by Imams. No, no, they would say the same thing. So they, they are narrating the Imams, not the Prophet. Do you get it? Yeah. So the, the, the Shias believe in 12 Imams, and those 12 Imams, there are many infallible people that will follow yeah, yeah. after the Prophet, that are meant to have the same rank as the Prophet, uh, uh, as all the Prophets except for the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. We say that we say that that particular belief is, is a flawed one. We, yeah. don't, we don't accept it. Yeah. So they would say, for example, Al Hussein, which is Ali's son, is is higher ranked than Jesus Christ. For example, yeah. Yeah. We, we would say no. Yeah. We say Jesus Christ is higher ranked than Hussein. All the prophets are more high, higher than him. So the point, what, what I'm trying to say is that I'm glad you their, said this. Their hadith, their hadith go back yeah. to the Imam. So, for example, what does Jafar Sadiq say? So, the, so what you're saying is the belief predicates which sources you use. Of course it does. Right. So in the same way, Christians, the belief predicates our sources. Absolutely, yeah. There's no problem with that. No, I agree. Okay, fantastic. So, so do we agree? I mean, right. I, I, so, can I just say, can yeah, I just I mean, say, yeah, I, you know what I call the chain of narration? Yes. I call it the chain of fabrication. It is, yeah. Because it's not in the same league. 
it's not the same league as Western historiography when you come to the to the Hadith science. Sorry, let me ask you a question. If you know so much about it, right? What are the conditions of a Sahih Hadith? Well, there's a there's, there's a science there's the science of Hadith, and I've been on to Mansour's site about the science of Hadith. So what is that? What's the conditions? No, there's you've got a massive list. There's okay, a massive so, list. So can you give me one? I can't, I can't remember the list, but the list. <laughs> take, take for example Surah One. Surah One. Yeah. Yeah. Too good. First verse. Right. Give Give me the chain of narration for that. Okay. What's the chain of narration? So, uh, just let, let me just ask let, Let's just let's see if, let's see if we can give some historical yeah. credence. So to that's this. a very good question. He asked me just, and I'll, I want you to do the same thing. That's a good challenge, all right? But can I can I apply? Well, I'll do it for you. Will you do it for me as well? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, you agree? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I was distracted. So I he didn't he said to me, Surah Al Fatiha, chapter one of the Quran. Give me the chain of narration for it. Right. So I said, no problem. Surah one. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it for you, but you do it with me, going back to Jesus as well, yeah? Alright. So, uh, for example, Hafs, Hafs and Shu'aba narrated to Asim. Hafs, did you say Hafs? Yeah. There are, there are hadiths that talk about Hafs is not alive. No, there isn't. You, yeah. you're, talking about, you're talking about Asim. It's not hadith. It's, 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 it's something else. Don't worry, but I'll talk about that. Yeah? That he stole something. He didn't return some books. No, no, no. Or no, no. You ask me a question. Yeah. I want to answer you all your questions. Today. I'm sorry. I don't want to leave anything unanswered. Right. So give us a chain of narration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hafs and Shu'aba narrated upon Asim, narrated upon Abu Abd al-Rahman al sulami narrated upon uh, Ibn Mas'ud, narrated upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Where, where's the book? The main document. No, but does that answer your question? Yeah, no, no, not really. No, let me get. No, 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 let, let me get you, because all you've done is you've just given a list of names, but that list of names had to be. Yeah. But, but, but that list of names had to be written at the end, which means that that list of names that's, came that's centuries point. later. So would you that like to? Okay, okay, perfect. So yeah. if I can show you, okay, perfect. That's a good, that's a good point. Now let me show you something. Uh, you said Hafs. Uh, Asim died 123 AD, I think. Yeah, either 123 or 128. Hey, sorry, AH. Yeah? I have to get my sources out to do my chain. I'm telling you, Asim died 128 AH, which is about a long time after Muhammad. 110 years after Muhammad. Yeah. He narrated it upon 128 years. Uh, sorry, 100 and, um, about 115 years or something like that. Would you years. stop there? Yeah. The Gospel of John. Wait, 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 just finish, mate. Arch anyway. Gospel of John. Yes. Yeah. Polycarp or an Ignatius. One of them knew knew John, didn't they? Was yeah. it Polycarp? Yeah. So when was that? 110 AD. Who Polycarp? Yeah. When was Polycarp? So he died in the 150s, man. Right. So say what? Say one, what? 180 what? even. Right. No, it's said 150. Yeah. Yeah. So when was yours? No, no, I'm still going. I'm going. No, no, but I'm just saying that the, the, yeah, yeah. the length I'm, of years. Can I tell you something? There's something else here. It's, this is just one chain. What I'm going to tell you is that those chains were what you call mutawatir, which means that on each level, on each level, it wasn't just one person who took it. It was tens of people who took it. So, for example, of this, uh, of this surah, it wasn't just one person who took chapter one of the Quran. It was over a hundred Sahaba that took chapter one of the Quran. Well, over 150 so, so to me, this is myth. No, but I can tell you that. But I can tell you that. I also disagree because no, you got Wash on. Quran, you got Hafs but, but, but Quran, you got Dori Quran, you got multiple different Qurans. Can I? Can I? Can we do one thing at a time? This is mythological he, because you're saying it's myth. But the, the reason why it's mythological. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Because when you ask us about Ignatius, we've got a document. We've got a document as well. Yeah. We got a, we got letters of Polycarp. We've, we've got, got letters as well, though. We've got letters of Ignatius. We've got a book by Arrhenius. But he's not. He's Wait a minute. We, we've got. So why are yours valid to substantiate your sources, no, well, but ours are invalid I'm, no, I'm when they substantiate that. ours? Let's do it. Let's do your. Why, why, why the double standards? Let's, 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 let's do. Let's do both. I've just said to you now, from Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He read Surah Al-Fatiha, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen to his Sahaba. Let's say 150 people heard it, yeah? That's 100... I, 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 I'm I can tell you their names. But it's mythological. Saying, the reason being... Why is it Because when I'm saying that mine, and he's saying his, we're giving you sources. I can okay, give you... Perfect. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. I can give you Ignatius letters. I can give you... So you're asking what the sources? Let me finish. I can give you uh, the dedicate. I can give you a document. I can give you... Dedicate is not... A, it's about baptism. No, it's a document though. It's a document. Yeah, but it has years. Years after his death. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we have no, a document. It started right in 1980. We have a document that confers 
it's 90 AD. We have documents of those times, but you're saying no, all these names. So where, what where, where were the documents? Where's the docu document? Yeah, so yeah. where is the document? Yes. And I want it to date as well yes. that says what you're about to say. Yeah. Yeah. So where, yeah. where, where is this document? No, no, no. That's a, that's a very good point. Yeah. So there's more than one document. What's the name of the document? So you have the Mus'haf of Ibn Mas'ud. Mus'haf of Ibn Mas'ud. Yeah, you've got the. You've got the wait, wait, wait. wait. One second. No, I, uh, the, the Mus'haf of Ibn Mas'ud is about the, the Quranic text, is it not? Yeah, is that what you want? No, no, no. We are asking, no, one. because you're basing this. On, no, because you're. No, 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 he's not listening. He's not listening. You're not listening. Sorry. Because you're saying yeah, yeah. that we can trust the fact, even though we have Wash Quran and Duri Quran and Hafs Quran, we yes. can trust it because we've got these chains that link him back to well, Muhammad. Who's, who's so what I'm saying, who's, and what I'm saying, this yeah. is what I'm asking you. Yeah. Because you, you've tried to throw a blinder again. Thinking John, just, that just, we don't John, know. John, yeah? you might not know. Just so, ask me the question. So, so and then I might be able in to terms of, we're asking what what document. And can I say one thing, please, John? Can I say one thing? I apologize. Yeah, I don't want to seem like, like I'm sanctimonious here. Yeah? But I want to say something. Yeah. Someone always says that before they're about to say something no, no, that will I, make I, them I, seem I, sanctimonious. I, I apologize if this comes on a moment. Uh, it I'm doesn't matter. But I, I really do apologize. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you, with both of your admissions, you haven't really looked into this very deeply. Yeah. I might have looked into it a little bit more than you have. I might have. I might, it's possible, right? So what I'm saying is that instead of rushing to conclusions, I think it might be a fairer academic... Please, please. Jason, 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 he's dodging the Jason, question. Jason, 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 I, I have, I have an interest in it. history. Pardon? I'm a debate on history. No problem. So, a new history. so I, I, have a, I have a particular passion for historiography, how we know what is history. Perfect, Jason. So I'm asking well, you valid questions. The question that he asked you was, what is the document yes. that narrates these chains of narration that ah, you are describing? So you're talking about and the then you went and you, then you went to right, this no, this no, Quranic okay, no, no, text. No, no, fair enough. There was a misunderstanding in the question. That's I think I it was asking. pretty obvious the first time. But anyway, oh, so, 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 okay, come I'm back. Sorry, come I, back. Let to me the come question. back. Let me what come is back. the document that I can go away and yes. look at where it gives me the list? Yes, I'll give you the and document. And then what is the date of the document? Okay, there are many documents. Okay, yeah. give me one example. Yes, for example, Okay, and when was it dated? Uh, the dates are on the is uh, more than one date. So the way the way Tamakat works is that it gives you the dates of each. Uh, no, I'm asking for the date of the document. The document. Which one? The, the, the one question. you've just mentioned. The one. So this was written by J Ibn Jazari. When? I don't know when. Um, is there any way we can find out? We can find out. Can find out. Yeah. Because the thing is, it has to come because it, it narrates the link going back to Hafs, right? It goes from. Yes. It, it, right. So that means that that document yes. must either be contemporaneous to Hafs or later that, that, than Hafs. You so, so, so you're saying that you want documents contemporaneous to Hafs? Right. So what? No. What I'm saying is. You are using no, a document. No, if you want that, I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. So what you're saying is you're using a document that was written after Hafs himself no, no, to I justify no, this John, idea of the chain of narration. John, you didn't ask me that. That is exactly what Jason asked you. That is exactly what. Is that what you asked him? No, am I misrepresenting? No, what you're saying? fine, fine. I haven't got. A then it won't be mythological. Guys, then we've got some. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, now you're you're hitting the nail on the head. Because what I'm going to say to you is that. Well, thank you. Yes. If what you're saying is that you want uh, a document or you want documents to show what we call the tawatu on each level, which means we have mass transmission. I'm not being funny, but you're sounding like George Foreman now. I don't know what the hell it was going on right now. George Foreman, go on. You're not actually dealing with it. Go for it. I don't know what to say to you. Just give us, give us a document and a date. Well, he did, but it was it was it's after half, so it doesn't, you know. But in terms of a Jason, strong, uh, it's not you guys it's a bit, please, guys. You've, I, given, you've given no evidence. Uh, at okay, all. you say I've given no evidence. No, you've just given a Can later you, document. John, sorry to say, he asked me a question about chain of narration, which yeah? you tried to ignore, which I answered directly. No, I you said, didn't. Okay, let me answer it again because you didn't hear the answer. Maybe you should listen to me. Yeah. I said the Prophet Muhammad narrated to Ali ibn Abi Talib, to Ibn Mas'ud, to Uthman ibn Affan. We get that. Hold on, hold on. Where's the evidence? Ibn, well, let him say He's it. asking about the chain. Yeah. So let me give him the chain and then I'll give you the evidence. Uh, and then Ibn Mas'ud narrated. Uh, sorry, uh, Uthman al Affan narrated to uh, 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 many people, including Abu Abdurrahman al Sulami. Yeah? Abu Abdurrahman al Sulami narrated to Asim. Asim narrated to Hafs. Hafs narrated to, uh, and also Shaba, but also others. Many others. I'm giving you others. And then they narrated to many, many others as well. So you have 
mass transmission at each stage. And it's the same thing being presented. So where did you get that list of names from? So this is from Tabakat al Qurra. Which is dated to when? I don't know when it's dated. It's like, dated to after no, half. So in other words... Get, no, no. What you're saying is, if I can get you something... I, no, no, because no, the, the first document that was written... Yeah. From my memory, hold on, hold on, let me ask you a question. The first document that was written... I forget, well, I forget the name of the document, but I can give it to you. Sorry, brothers. Yeah? It's okay. Jason, <laughs> carry on. It's called, um, I, I think it's called Asanid, but it's, it's, I'll tell you when it was dated, it's dated 95 AH. And it has this list? Yes, it has this list. I'd like to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. It's like, yeah. so, so, you said before half, okay. I'm doing everything you say, okay? Okay, okay. I'm no, not, not really. No, no, now please, you are. guys. Please. Now you're addressing no, the No, no, I'm addressing Now you're addressing the No, I'm addressing It's dated 95 AH. Which is, remember the Prophet Muhammad Sallam died 11 AH. Yep. So this is uh, 70, 80 years after his death. Is this source that you're saying, this document, it's, it's physical. It, is it within another document or no, is it no, it's, independent? It's, no, it's independent. And what's the earliest copy of this document that we have? It's dated back to that time. So we have a document, yes. physical copy, yes. that is dated. Yes, and not, you also have uh, references. Wait, 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 and you also have references. I'm not saying that the, co the copy was written then, yes. but we have a physical copy. Yes. That was actually yes. from there. Yes. And that's possible because in the seventh okay. century, yes. by this time, yes. the, the, the Muslims had a giant empire. Yes. Um, and also. So it does not answer the question. It, 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 it at least addresses the question in part. No problem. Thank you. It addresses the, the same question thing now with the Bible. It addresses the question. Can we have the same now the same standard that we've just employed for the Quran? No. No? No. no. We can't. That's all I wanted to hear, brother. We can't. We can't. <laughs> and we won't. That's what I want to say. We can't and we won't. John, because, that's what because, I want to say. because our faith is different to yours. Yes, I am. Our sure. faith is yeah. different to yours. So after all that I'm, scrutiny, I'm not, I took it on the chin. No, you didn't. I answered every Bro, question. Not at all. Not at all. And then I come not to you. All. I say, apply not the at same all. standard. Because the, 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 the reality. No, the reality remains Sunni and Shia disagree with hadiths. And you're trying to construct an argument based upon No, no, no. You 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 came up with you came up with the Sunni version of that argument. The Shia will disagree with you. But what you established what one second, but here's what we have established from this discussion. They won't disagree. One, one, they won't the, one, they take the same salad. We've established hold on, hold on, hold on. that's wrong. I have to stop you. No, no hold on, hold on. they disagree I, with what? you about hadiths. They don't trust no, Bukhari. Do they don't trust Bukhari. They don't trust Aisha. So it's Adam. They don't trust Aisha. Uh, uh, John, Do John, they? John, 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 John. Does Shia trust John. Aisha? Uh, no, they don't. No. There you go. No. Does Shia trust Bukhari? No. no. There you go. John, John, okay. John, John. I've heard John, 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 John. He said, and I'm, I'm, I'm a couple here. I asked you for a chapter one. Chapter All right. One. And then I said to you, I gave you the, the chain. I gave you the, the names of the books. And that's general knowledge. I didn't even do any. You gave, you gave us, you gave us the name of a document that came after half. Then I gave you one that came before. Yes, but yes. that is obviously not linking two halves because if it's before halves, it doesn't go up to halves, I've does it? No, 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 but then you've got both. I've got a question. No, we have one before and after. You have one before and after. So all you've got is a list of names. Science. And that list of names is disputed no, by no, Muslims themselves. We've got, we've got in addition to that, we've got the Masahib. Do, do, do. We've got the Masahib. And we've got also, okay, hold on, because you said something, all we've got, that's false. Yeah, does, Shia trust, does Shia trust Abu Bakr? No, they don't. Do they trust Othman? <laughs> do they trust Osman? This guy, this guy. So, so the point is, what's that? Well, the, the, the point is, the point they trust, they trust, how many, how they many, trust how many Sunni narrations go back to those people? Yeah. No, but they trust Hassim and they trust Hafs. How, how many? How many? You said, hold on, sir. I, I, I agree and appreciate I heard that there's a difference of opinion among the Shia and the Sunnah about hadith. hadith. But we're talking about you. He asked about Quran, and yeah. I said to him, all right, fine, no problem. The Quran, the Shia. Except, I, I read the word, uh, I read, I'm happy sorry, to give you that. I, sorry, 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 I apologize, please. Uh, Al Amili, I read what he had to say. Do we need to wrap up? I read what he has to say. Yeah. I, I, I read, and they accept. <coughs> For the most part, of course, there are some dis dis uh, discussions of people that, <coughs> like Alawi inclined, but they accept Asim, they accept Hafs, and that's why they read. Uh, if you go to any masjid, there's Husayni, Husayniya, which is where the Shia pray. They will pray with Qur'an Hafs and Asim. What's that? So they'll, they'll use the the, the, they, they the version the of the that. Quran that's okay. connected to Hafs. So that's that's what it is. So the point I'm making is, you said that you are you're not willing to do that with the Bible, but they won't. 
no, 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 don't put words into my mouth. All right, so it's not the same standard of preservation. What, I, what I'm saying is that we Christians don't need a chain of narration. So why not? The reason why we don't need a chain of narration yeah. is because our documents were written down in the first but, century but the of that, our that, faith. But no, but hold on, the people that, can I, can I say something? The people that wrote them down never saw Jesus. No, that's not true. Your, that's your claim. No, okay, so can, you just, claim. can you just prove it? No, no, no. So, so in, terms of, in terms of the apostolic witness, yes. it, is, it is stated in the Gospel of Luke yeah. that the accounts that were written in Luke are from eyewitnesses. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in the book of John, it talks about that the, the, the yeah. one that had written this book, i.e. the one from whom this book was written, was the teaching of John. Accepted. We know. I, I read that as well. We know that Mark, no, no, no. the yes. Mark was trans the but translator John, of Peter. I agree with that point. However, there's a point you're missing. I have no idea what you're saying. One fifth year day of Nipple Shank, man. Hold this place, please, John. Anyone can speak God Latin. Carry on. <laughs> what I was going to say was that what seems to be happening, if we're talking historically, that we shouldn't have the same standards, right? No, we don't. Right, you not? keep trying to put words into my mouth and misrepresent my position. Position. Okay, no, no, no. I, I'm, what I'm, I'm saying, to, I'm what I'm no, saying, me, right, I am yeah, saying that yeah. you cannot form a criticism about another belief system if that same criticism can be applied back to your religion. You are, no, 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 you are trying to, be, that, that is the fallacy you're working to. You are trying to say, you're trying to say, you're trying to say, trying to say we should doubt the New Testament because Christians could not agree or, or went through this process of no, agreement. Sure, that is exactly the argument that you've no, been using. No, but uh, John, but Muslims John, don't agree about the hadith. John, and I've already conceded to that. I'm glad. What, what would you like me to do more than... But, hey, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Here's something else that you said which I think was really important. Is that you yes. said that the reason why as Sunnis you reject the Shia... And by the, the way, Shia, I, I've said to you, I've given you, I've given you my uh, can I, scholarly backing. I said that Ibn Taymiyyah said the same thing. I said that Ibn Taymiyyah said... No, you, you quoted Ibn Taymiyyah but then you applied it to the Gospels and I was talking about the hadith at the time. What are you, talking about? you lost track of the argument. No, 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 I'm just saying that. Look, here's my question. Sorry. I don't yeah, want to... Ask your question. I've got two questions. Already, the Athanasius one, I think now has been done to death. I don't think you have an answer, right? No, wait, no, hold on. Stop characterizing again. Okay, Every time we've addressed the Athanasian so, question, so you've interrupted. So, okay, okay, no problem. I'll give you a chance to answer it again. I've got two questions, simple questions. You asked me this, it's only the same historical um, scrutiny, yeah? You said that with, when it comes to the Quran, when it comes to the Quran, what I, what you asked me about chain, you asked me about chain of narration, I yeah. gave him the chain. You asked me about documents. Which we rejected. Sorry, you asked me, so let me just... Yep, let me come Jason, in and answer you. Yeah. Yeah. You, asked me about, you asked me about chain, I gave him the chain with the names. He, he asked me about documents which has those chains, I gave him the documents before and after halves which have those chains. He asked me about... You asked me about how, I even told you about how many people in each thing carried the, the message of the Quran. That's done now. Can, can but, I reply on your chain of narration? Please. You can, but let's... Just, let's just not, a few just, things. Can I just say one thing? Sorry. So, that's, I've answered everything you've asked me to do. I've been, at, I've been at your service today, yeah? I've been at your service today. Now, I, uh, what I want from you... I've answered this. Sorry, can, can I just ask Jason, you, can, I, on this chain of narration, it's important. I, I, just I know, but you, yeah. you've questioned the Christian sources a lot. And this, I'm, I'm just questioning this chain of narration, yeah, yeah. right, yes, yes. is based on oral tradition. Not always, no. Most of it. You couldn't say you, that. When you defend the Quran, you prim primarily defend it on oral tradition. No, that's false. It's, well, th th that's what the rest of your dawah... Uh, well, you're uh, I don't care. That's not a when we, when we debate, that, that, that's, that, can we know videos. that? Can we know that? Yes. Muhammad Hijab is yes. saying that the defending the Quran based on oral tradition is not sufficient. Absolutely. There you go. You no, heard it from no, Muhammad Hijab. The Dawah here that you need to tell your brother you Muslims that because so. they're not on the yeah, same yeah, page as you at all. Let me tell you. Let me give you the uh, evidence of that. I agree with you, by the way. Yes, I agree with you. Ibn Jazari, who is the foremost authority in this, probably in the Islamic world, as we've just quoted him today, he said that the preservation of the Quran depends on three distinct things that have to be triangulated together in order for the preservation to be accepted. Right. Number one is the oral tradition. So there has to be, because I'll tell you why. Is the oral tradition 
For example, if, if you read now, you're an English speaker, I'm an English speaker, right? If we open up a book in English language and we start reading it, maybe me and you will read it in a very similar way, yeah? But the Lexis phonology link, so when you look at a word in the English language, like here, you know, you look at a word, it says here, did you know where, or, you know, me and you will read it in a similar way. That is only recognized through what you hear, auditory um, transmission, in a, in a sense. If, if there's something called the Cambridge Learned Dictionary, right, which shows you all of the, um, you know, the, the uh, it shows you all of the signs which create the, the sounds of the word. And the new person learning English would have to be acquainted with those symbols, right? The point is, when you're learning a language or when you're reading a language, you have to be aware of how it sounds so you can pronounce it right. So for us, the oral transmission is a paramount part of the preservation process because if the Quran was not read and sh and shown uh, uh, and, and demonstrated, it's a demonstrative effect, it could have been read wrong, basically, right? Which it was. Which it was, which it was, which, 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 which is why all transmission by itself is not sufficient. Thank you. Yeah, but no, no, but, no, Thank but, you. Yes, That's great. So I'm glad you've admitted that, Mohammed. That is fantastic. Thank you very much. Yes, absolutely. And it's not my admission, it's what Ibn Jazzily said. Ibn yeah. Jazzily well, I'm glad he admitted it for you. Yes, so he's really. Yes. And it's based on so it's yes. based on text and oral tradition. He says three yeah. things. No, so no, why is the Cambridge three, Quran? No, no, why is the Cambridge Quran say that there's never been a textual edition of the Quran? No, no. Let me, let me just finish. Because right. there hasn't. Are you guys talking to each other? Or? A little bit. I explain <laughs> that. So if it's based Ibn on oral tradition, Ibn said there has to be three things. Number one, oral tradition. Oral tradition. Yes. And that oral tradition itself has uh, has conditions. He says you uh, still have to. He said in Arabic, um, we still have to show about that. It has to be much more, which means, in his words, because the word mutawatir wasn't there yet, the Mu'atazilis familiarized that word, that means Mu'atazilis were a group of rationalist Muslims. They, 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 they were a heretical group who disputed central doctrines of Islam. Such as whether the Quran, uh, whether, according to whether the Quran, for instance, was in eternal or not eternal. No, no, they didn't say that. They said that. They did. They argued that the Quran was eternal. Give me one name of our Mu'atazili scholar. No, I didn't. Okay, khalas, then don't tell me what they said. No, no, no. Abdul Jabbar and... Uh, no, I'm sorry. The, the Mutazi likes did dispute central well, doctrine. Yeah, they did, of course, but yeah. it's not the eternality. It's something they had a completely different. It was based upon. They had a different epistemology. Based upon Honestly, predestination. His arguments about free will. Yes, they and were. The consequences were. Yeah. that flowed out of that. Yeah, that's right. And that, that meant that they argued that the Quran couldn't be eternal. No, no, because no, no, if they, they did, then that would take away John, free will. John, because in the Quran, John, it talks about. John, God let's not discuss the thing. I can teach you about this later. Yeah, we can talk about yes. it later. That's fine. Because you're wrong. John, I'm wrong. Thank you for the time today as well, mate. No, no problem. I can, I've read it from the time. I've read Abdul Jabbar's book. Yeah, you know, I've yeah. read. Um, I know, I read it. What did you say? Uh, uh, I thought I'm more. What's the matter? I thought he died 133 AH. I've read. Uh, You're going on about oral tradition and text. Anyway, so oral, oral tradition. tradition. We got that. What about the next? What's the other three? The other two. Okay, so uh, the other one is. Uh, the, uh, the te we said the text is the textual tradition. So the Mus'haf, listen to this carefully, right? The Mus'haf that would have been uh, only acceptable is the Uthmani one. Right. Uthman's Mus'haf. Yeah. According to, according to the Hadith. Yeah. According to Mujazari, the only Mus'haf that is acceptable is Uthman's one. Now, why? I didn't ask that question. Okay, no, no, don't ask a question. Okay, I didn't ask. No, 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 yeah, yeah, so we've got we've got the oral tradition, we've got the textual well, tradition so that's much. rooted to Uthman. Don't ask it. Well, what's, what's the, what's the third one? What's the third one? What's the third one, what's the third one is compliance with the Polish Arabic language. Okay. So it has to be obviously if something because Arabic language evolves. If something is uh, it, it mimics the language of those who came after, then there's a strong historical case. Then that thing has been inserted okay. into. And where did these criteria come from? Those did they come from the Quran or were they invented? So no, that's a very good question. Good question. This came from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So you can show okay. me hadiths where yes. Muhammad lays that out. Yes. Right. I want to see the hadiths. Yes. Yeah, so it didn't come from the Quran. So the, uh, the hadith of Bukhari, where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said. Yeah. He's going to lay out these three criteria. Go on. Yeah. He said, uh, write what I say in right. terms of the Quran. Yeah. So that's one thing. The the idea of a memorization was accepted by the uh, Sahaba. So they said, Do you know uh, the Sahaba 
for example, most of those who are Qurra, when they were no, asked... No, sorry, where's the hadith? I'm where's telling you, uh, this is hadith. The right. authority, what's the authority? No, no, I mean, we're getting, we're getting there's, 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 there's clearly multiple arguments going on here, right? And No, you asked me a hadith, I'm, I'm giving you the answer. Yeah, I, I, I mean, for me, like, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of issues that have been raised, but I want to bring it back to so the what, original what's your question, sorry? conversation. You want to know what the, 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 well, the hadith I mean, are? Well, I personally, for, for, for you're, you're, for you're relying on hadiths that were written 200 years later, no, no, that no. Le and then a later scholar looks at those hadith and constructs a series of Who premises. Told you that this is a good point. The, 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 this, this is a good point. The, the, the scholar that you've Which mentioned, one? the one this who talks about point. the three criteria. You, you, you based. He's he's picked up a yeah. No, no, many people was, have mentioned Was, he, was he written? Was what, was he writing after Bukhari? Yes. Right. So you, a later so scholar. No, a late, no, no, one second. Yeah, yeah. So a later scholar. A later scholar. A later scholar is looking back in history and. Red, you've given us three criteria, one of which is textual, and yes. there are clearly textual variants in the earliest copies of the Quran. Right, no problem. I'll you come can to that. you can look at we'll the you can look at the yep. pamphylicets in Sana, and you can look so, well, fine, so, and you can look at the um, you can look at the Topkani manuscript as well, and studies of those manuscripts demonstrate that there are variances. Have you ever seen them? Yes, I've seen I've seen photos you've of them. I've seen, seen photos of it. Uh, you know not, the I've not the original. Not the original. I've seen yeah. photos of it. One second. One second. And in those them? in those earliest <laughs> manuscripts, there are erasures. So someone's come along and rubbed something out. What, can you read that over? There are tapings over. Yeah. Where someone has tried to cover words, yeah. and then there are insertions of writing. Okay. So someone has let's come along to the manuscript yeah, yeah. later let's and added words. All right, that's, that's what you okay. Think. Yeah, no, that's a fact. Okay, no problem. And they are at variance with the yeah. 1924 version of the Quran, right. which is no the problem. Quran let's you let's believe but, yeah, and most Muslims John, use. John, and you can find it in Tabari as well. All right, yeah, uh, Tabari. All right, fine. John, uh, actually, let's talk about somebody, uh, and let's talk about all the points you just made, and then we're going to ask. You again about the Bible, which you haven't answered, but then no problem. He never gave us a chance, but okay, no, I'll give you a chance. But I want to be as fair as possible with all of your questions. And if I haven't done a good job, I'll go back and do the research and I'll help you, okay? You know, edify that's myself. Fair. Yeah, that's fair, and no problem. So, here the question you asked was, What hadith is there, or are there hadith to show that the preservation of the Quran, as per Al Jazeera's definition, should be more than just all? What I want to see is the hadith, the, the, the criteria so, laid out by, so, him, by yeah, Muhammad. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right. So the hadith in Bukhari, where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in Mecca, he said, "Do not write what I say in terms of amal and uh, actions, because now is the time we should be writing about the the wahi. So in the Quran, there's a hadith at the end of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's life where he also commanded uh, uh, Ibn Shad to write his hadith. So we have on two uh, on two fronts the Prophet commanding his Sahaba, and both of them are Sahih Bukhari hadith. Yeah. On two counts, one hadith telling people to write down the Quran, and one hadith telling people to write down the hadith. And we also have in the Quran itself where it says in chapter 75 of the Quran that upon us is its preservation and its compilation. And then wait a second, say that again. That last bit, just say that again. In the Alayna Jama'ahu Quran. What does he say? That upon us is his uh, Jama'ah, is his compilation. So is that in the Quran, sorry? Yes, yes. So, so that's yes. that's the Quran? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, upon and us, and, and who is it speaking about? Uh, Allah, us? speaking about himself. So it's Allah speaking about himself. He's yes. not speaking about the companions. Yes. He's not speaking about no, the No, no, no. But here's what I'm going to tell you, right? The fact that the Quran calls it Kitab. Because the Quran it, itself, it refers to itself as Kitab, which means book. Yeah. So the Sahaba, Umar al Khattab, he took that to mean that it has to be a preserved, uh, it has to be a written. Uh, so that was his interpretation. Yes, and that every everyone accepted that. Mubak accepted that. Uh, Zaid, uh, Zaid accepted that. So he didn't say it explicitly. Did. So, so what I'm getting? So, no, no, you said hadith. Yeah, I told you two exactly. hadiths. Exactly. So you yeah. told me two hadiths, and then the and then, and then you told me Quran. Yeah. But the three the three principles that you laid out. Yes. And the Quranic. Where, 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 yeah. where is it rooted yeah, so, so in Muhammad's teaching? No. Because to be fair, yeah, yeah. What I have 
haven't heard yeah. is Mohammed clearly stating what you're saying that he what, stated. What, what is he uh, What do you want him to okay, say? Okay, he said write it down. I agree with that. Okay. But I didn't hear Mohammed say that that is one of the criterion by which the Quran is going to be preserved. The, the okay, key, no, no, hold on. It doesn't say the that. Key, no, no, he no, just no. says write it down. No, no, no. Okay, I'll give you another. I'll give you another point. Can't you say this for the camera? Yeah, yeah, no, no. This was a key question because your argument was yeah. that your chain of narrative is reliable and science of hadith. And I asked the key question: yes. Where was your criteria for the science of hadith? Is it does it have any divine authority? Yes. And you're struggling to, to give uh, us the answer, uh, 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 and then it comes okay, later, okay, okay, yeah. you. and you're reading this later uh, yes. way. Yes, yes, back yes. into time. Okay. Back into you're, time. You're retroactively no, 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 taking no, no, your, this, the opinions this, this, of your scholars and putting John, them into John, the before, words before, of your prophet. Of John, before I told you the two hadiths that I told you about now, did you know about them before? What, sorry? No. You asked me. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Let's, let's, be, let's be ingenuous here. Yeah? You asked me a question about hadith. You said, where did the prophet say uh, you, should, you should be written or something, right? So I told you where. No, 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 no. Don't put words in my mouth again. I you always mischaracterize my argument. You gave three criteria of a scholar yes. that the preservation of the Quran yes. is in oral tradition yes. oral, in written tradition written. and in a particular dialect now let me say Arabic. Arabic. maybe Arabic, Arabic language of, okay. of the Arabs at that time okay of the Arabs of that time yes. so then I said show me where uh, Muhammad says this uh, and all you've done yeah. all you've done is give me verse the hadith where Muhammad says something like write it down and then no, no, you've no, no, said no, then you've said no, no, oh that means Muhammad Muhammad saying that oh, the preservation of the Quran will be well, in writing. No, no, no. That's, that's very uh, funny of you to say that. That's, that's weird. That's actually, that's actually very weird. I, I'm You're constricting an no, argument no, no, that, retroactively. No, that's a very weird thing. That's, I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's, I'm, I'm finding this very weird. Because that's if... A, that's a, that's a, no, 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 because if, okay. if the Prophet... Tackle the ball, not the man. I didn't attack you. I said, I'm finding it weird. I'm attacking myself with anything. I said that if the Prophet Muhammad, we know from the Surah Fiqh, which is the principles of jurisprudence, if he ever. Was that written? The principles of jurisprudence? Yeah. That's, it's a whole uh, it's a science. Okay, where, 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 the, which, so which book are you quoting when you say that? So the first person to have a, a, a formalized book on it is a Shafi'i. You wrote a book called the Risala. And when, was, when was that written? Probably about 250 AH. 250 AH. It's not in the no. same league as us, bro. What are you talking about, man? Because all of the yeah, New I, I Testament... Is all all, all of our New Testament I, no, was written not, closer it's... to the time than the sources you're using. I'm talking about a book of Usul. It's not the Quran or the Son of Usul, you, right? So, so, yeah. It's like me asking you, uh, uh, you said Augustine. Augustine uh, died in 400 and something, right? Yeah. And you quote him, and I say, oh, Augustine, 400. But it's part, but it's part it's of dumb, your man. argument it's not, it's, it's dumb, within the connection. <laughs> Is you're, you're arguing for the reliability of your sources and you're quoting these different The Quran books. itself says, and we're just sorry, calling you. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't accept because you feel part of your argument is saying, oh, how do you know that these are linked back? So in other words, they're late. They're late and they're anonymous. But lateness is obviously not a problem for you. And neither is selection based upon belief. Hold on, hold on. You, you, you believe in... Which is what part of the John, I'm sorry to say, you believe in creeds that came 400 years after Jesus' death. It's not a problem for us. So, this guy's a contradiction. You're a self-contradiction, bro. But the documents... What are you talking about? You just, hold on. Sorry, guys, man. You can't contradict yourself in my presence in that way. We're not contradicting ourselves. No, don't. Please, don't. These don't are, don't the, contradict. You're making because, you know, an I, argument. Mohammed, I love you. Do you know why? You are on stage attacking the Christian faith no, 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 John, because please, we believe please, in these creeds John. that came later, no, no, and yet John. you believe documents like Bukhari and the scholars that were writing after Bukhari, John, so they're all much later. But, John, but you're saying when we do it at the yeah. Council of Nicaea, no, no, it's a problem. No, no, no. But when you do it about your books of jurisprudence no, 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 and your 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 definition no, of the preservation no, no, no. of the Quran, John, that that's John. okay. No, that's so is lateness a problem or not? No, no. Here's what I said. I said that Bukhari. Was not the, the hadith in Bukhari were not non-existent and then became existent at the time of Bukhari? That they were existent in written and oral form. I said this to you before. I gave you the evidences for it in in document form. I said Amr ibn As wrote a book. I said Ali ibn Abi Talib wrote a uh, Sahihah. I said Abu, Abu Bakr Siddiq wrote a Sahihah. But I don't know if your sorry to say your attention doesn't seem to. Like, did you get that? No, you've also we given it. dates to no, no, some no, no. of those books did and they're later did than you? Sahih Bukhari. They wrote those books at the time of the Prophet. 
Russell a lot. You also, that the scholar that you quoted to John, make John, your John, argument John, John, you was must be able to retain Barry. this information. He's retained it. We understand your argument. Jason, we understand it. You're keep, you keep saying if lateness is an issue, which I do believe it is an issue when you're talking about fundamental freedom issues. Right, so. No, we're on the bus. Thank you, thank you. Lateness is an issue when talking about fundamental credence yes, issues. Is. Yes, of course, that's what I mean. Okay. So, is I, the is the practice is the science no, no, of hadith no, 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 is the no, no, science no, no, no. of hadith fundamental to the practice of Islam? Science of hadith. Yes. 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 So. When is and, and you, the, your earliest source of your uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So the science of hadith itself was put together by uh, Allah and His Messenger. No, can I can I prove it? I, I'm, to be fair, Mohammed, I'm running out of steam. To be honest, all right, no problem. I, I'm getting tired. Hey, we re I really right. appreciate the time. Yeah, no really problem, guys. What Jason, I want to say is that, I want to talk to you, bro. for example, the Quran, the Prophet, the Prophet, the Prophet said, when you're compiling the Quran, he told the people, listen to it, you're talking about preservation. He told the people that not one verse of the Quran could be accepted unless at least two people testify to each of the verses in the book. Who said that? The Prophet Muhammad said that. Okay. Okay, so hold on. Here you have two things the prophet telling the people to write it down but also telling them how to write it down establishing and fixing for them a criteria where in which uh, preservation would be ensured and that didn't happen outside of his time it happened in his time right now and jesus but your source sorry, for sorry, that, sorry 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 but your source for that is okay. 280 sorry, years so, later hold on hold on hold on hold that's on. the point hold on your source hold for hold that is 280 years later no it's not I you said it's sahih bukhari right no, I didn't say so well, what, which hadith is it in the science the source for this hadith that the one you've just given. Now, who oh, said yeah. to you? The science. Uh, so, so, which know. hadith is it? I, I've, I've told you this one more time. I'm going to say one more time, yeah? If I write a book now, I'll call it Sahih Hijabi, yeah? This is how, sorry to say, yeah? Sahih means something authentic. Yeah. It's 2019, yes? Yeah. If I write a book today, I call it Sahih Hijabi, and I put all the hadith I believe are strong in that in that book, yeah. yes? I make that book now, pretend that I'm an ultra scholar in hadith, and I put all those books. And then someone in the park, he says, you know, it's Sahih Hijabi, yes? This hadith exists and this hadith exists. And you say, when was Sahih Hijabi written? Yeah. The guy says 2019. You say, so you're depending on a source that that is 2019 years after the Prophet. The person will turn around and say, but that guy was collating information from the time of the Prophet. But yet you have a problem with the Council of Nicaea, who did exactly the no, same. No, no, it's not the same, because let me tell you why it's not no, the same. No, they came to conclusions on theology, it's not preservation. How did they history. come to those conclusions, Mohammed? They came to they consulted. They used three criteria in evidence for Khalid. Oh, you told me. No, no, no. You've just made a. You, you're, you're making. The Council of Nicaea. Yeah, the Council of Nicaea. What were the three strands of argument that they used? No, no, no. You're the, you're the one who has stood on stage with David Wood attacking the Christian faith because of the Council of Nicaea. Yes, yes. So you should have. No, I, by the way, my argument wasn't the Council why, why, of Nicaea. Why? Because the Council of have, No, my argument of David Wood. Yes, Council of Nicaea and Council of Constantinople. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I said. Sorry, sorry. Let, let's categorize. You said miscategorizations. I said my argument of David Wood. Words, was that the Trinity, this is my argument, and I put it to you as well. Because the Athanasius question, by the way, you kept talking about hadith, and I, I allowed it. Yeah, I said to you in the beginning, why is Athanasius. We addressed the Athanasius. No, no you never. Yeah, we I did. Said, why yeah, we did. I said, why is Athanasius given that. the authority to, to choose no. 27 books? Hold on one second. He wrote that. a. He wrote That's number one. You don't even know that letter. What was the letter? Which one? The, the, the letter that you're talking about. Short list. What, what is it? What, what is it's the letter? Short it was a paschal letter by Athanasius. Okay. Who was he writing to? I don't have to know that. Oh no, I'll tell you who he was writing to. Because he was he was bishop and leader of his churches and he was instructing them about which books they can use. Now tell me, was he using the list in an exclusive sense or an inclusive sense? Uh, in an exhaustive sense. He wasn't using it. How do you know that? He was using it. He was using it. Okay, okay. Is that right? Are you finished? Okay, guys. Guys, the fact of the matter is that the canon of scripture does not affect our faith because the, the Christian faith is dependent upon beliefs that we... Yeah, of course. 
what, the Christian faith is dependent upon beliefs that we hold to be true. And the church recognized that the Gospels and the letters contained those so beliefs. You're saying that, I'm happy you said that. So you're saying the canon of scripture is yep. not influential faith? No, what I'm saying is that the canon of scripture emerged from our faith. Perfect. So in other words... Which answers the question right, right. about where Athanasius gets his authority so from. If, if someone rejects the fact that the New Testament has, is comprising of 27 books, does that have any theological implications for that Christian? Yeah, but not in a not in a not in the sense that would affect their salvation. Okay, say for example. So like Luther, yes. for example, disputed the, the the letter of James. Okay. That would not affect his salvation. It means that he so was. I believe he was wrong. Yes. Okay. But I don't believe that that is something so fundamental that that makes Luther that makes Luther a non-Christian. So for them, so no problem. You don't need to believe in the New Testament. No, no, don't put words in my mouth. We're talking again. I never said that. No, no, but, no, no, but, That's what you just no, said. No, no, but, you do this all the time. No, no, so you don't need to believe. No, no, you said this. You said it doesn't affect their salvation. It doesn't. So what is the point? You're trying to create a criteria. No, no, let's make this exactly. Fair. No, That's no, exactly no, his argument. No, no. He's no, trying. No, they always do. He's building a straw. You always create criteria no, that so we don't believe. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. You've got to listen to me. I'm asking you. You're saying that if you don't believe, if someone does not believe, 27 books of the New Testament. Yeah. For example, look at the book of Revelation. Yeah. And they say that this stuff is not from God. I don't believe it's from God. Jesus doing this and that. That's fine. Right, so let me ask you this question. No, this no, will answer your question. Yeah, yeah. It will answer your question. Yeah, yeah. Did the first followers of Jesus have a New Testament? Did they? Which ones? Did the first followers of Jesus have a New Testament? Which ones? The very first. The very, very first. Uh, the, very, the ones that I... The very very, very first, Mohammed, I'm speaking to you in plain English. Did they have a New Testament? No. So, they believed without a book, meaning you can believe without the book. Okay, fine. Thank you. Case closed. So, 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 case closed. Hold on. It was a question. That's fine. So, you're saying that you don't need to believe in the New Testament in its entirety to be a Christian? I'm saying that you need to believe the good news, the gospel. And what is the gospel? That Christ died, that Christ was risen, that Christ will come again. This is a straw. This is the charisma. And the New no, Testament, no, 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 no. and the New no, 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 no. Testament testifies to that belief. Yes, that is one of the principles. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm happy now. To, uh, I'm happy. I've got what I've got. What in I've deciding got. I've got what I think I want. Right? You're saying that of the 27 books, that the, what you say that uh, when Athanasius came to his uh, conclusion of 27 books, that is is possible and allowable for some Christian to say, for example, I take the Apocrypha or I take some, uh, uh, Thomas's books as actually what Jesus said. No, what he, what Athanasius was doing was saying that in his diocese, in his autonomous authority, these are the books that I want read in my churches. These are the books that you will teach from at the pulpit. No, no, That's no, but, what he was talking no, about. I know, but either way, sorry. I, I was, I was asking, he doesn't say you can't read the Shepherd John, and Hermes. I'm, ask, I'm asking you a question, yeah? My question is, is it conceivable that a Christian can be a Christian and not for example, I believe that Saint, uh, the, the Gospel of Thomas should be in the Bible, whereas, for example, Revelation shouldn't be. So let me let me deal with that question yes. directly. Yes. If someone genuinely believes the Gospel that we Christians preach, if they believe that, for example, Revelation shouldn't be in the Bible, yes, yes, but the, the Gospel of Thomas should be, yes, they can still be saved even though they are in error. Okay. Because it isn't a salvation issue. Okay. It isn't a something that dictates. Whether you're saved. Do you agree? Yeah, uh, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, can I just say something? What, you, what, no, do you agree? No, no, let me finish. Let yeah. me finish. Yeah. What the Darwin teams have mastered, right? they like to create their own criteria and then get us. Let, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. And then you try maybe. to bring us into your situation. At the end of the day, there was a canon. A, it came inherently, and B, the community acknowledged it. There was a historical process. Amen. It was a historical process. No, the whole community, we Christians are settled on the New Testament, you Muslims are still so arguing it, about so that. However, you're trying to wait. So, so, so all the Christians are happy with the same New Testament? All Christians are happy with the same uh, New Testament. 
Oh. Which, tell me a Christian that doesn't. Uh, and hold on, on this point, do Christians and uh, does the New Testament have the same weight as the New Old Testament? No, it has greater. Greater weight? Why? Yes. Because the, the Old Covenant that is described in the Old Testament... No, but in terms of canon... Sorry, do you want to ask a question or answer no, a question? No, I'm just, uh, let, me, let, me, let me make a question too. In terms okay. of canonicity, in terms of what's included as part of the Bible, yeah. does the New Testament have any greater thing of the Old Testament or not? Well, no, because you're asking a question that's about interpretation yes. through a lens of canonicity and the question does, doesn't make sense in my mind. I, think, I, think I don't actually get what you're trying to ask. I'm asking, is it more important for someone to conceive of a book of the Old Testament as not being part of God's Word or, or less or the same as doing the same thing to the New Testament? What, what, I, what, what I am saying is that salvation history, your salvation, does not depend upon you having an agreement with me about which book should be in the New or the Old Testament. Okay, perfect. So in that case, I agree. I agree with you, Jeff. Okay. I agree. Do you know why? Now, this is where he gives up his summary and characterizes so as now, a saying something you, now, that we haven't said. Now, I haven't said anything, bro. Would you put a character on no, no, that? That's that. my position. The position I have is that the New Testament, I accept parts of it and, and reject parts of it. Therefore, according to the criteria you put forward, which you laid yourself down, that it's possible for me to detract parts of the book and put parts of the book, or believe in parts of the book, I can be saved according to you. No, because, <laughs> let's, let's be clear, let's be clear. No, 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 I'm going to address it. Because, because what is not articulating, guys? That's true. What is, not articulating, what is what is not articulating? What is not articulating? What is not articulating? Is that, so, so do you believe that Christ was crucified on a cross and rose from the dead? Well, that's the point I disagree with. That's the point you disagree with. But that, my friends, is the gospel. That's the key part. That's the key part. Can I tell you something? That's the key part. Can I just say, when you asked us that question, in our mind when we answered, we were thinking, listen, we were thinking of the gospel. If you believe the gospel, we'll say reject James. If you believe that gospel, you're still a Christian. Amen. That's not what he was thinking. That's I was exactly thinking. What was and, then, so, and you just mischaracterized. So you mischaracterized. You mischaracterized. Because that's all you can do, Mohammed. That's all you can do. That's all I can do. I can do Mohammed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a rest now. Wait, I think we've done it today. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting to stop now. The, 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 let me summarise what I'm, what I'm saying. Right, you summarise, I summarise, yeah, yeah, Jason yeah, summarises. Yeah, yeah. And I think we should give the last word to Jason on account of the fact that me and you have talked the most. Okay. So you, you summarise. But that's the fact that the principle of yeah, salvation. What you said today was quite yes, important. The gospel is, is no, the the I agree with what you said. Because what you're saying is actually quite powerful. You're, you're making an admission that I, I, yeah, you should be able to you should be able to make it a Christian and that you have made today, which I'm very grateful for, which is that it's conceivable, it's possible for you to believe in parts of the New Testament and not all of the New Testament and still be eligible for salvation. That is what you said because we said what gave Athanasius, what gave him the right to, to choose what books would be in the New Testament. You agree that, okay, that it became known and so on, but if you don't agree with the 27 books, it doesn't necessarily disqualify you from salvation and from being a Christian. What I'm saying is, the question of what should be acceptable and what shouldn't be acceptable should be to the good judgment of people who look into the scripture uh, and do their historical research and through rationalization also decide that certain things are impossible and therefore reject aspects of that scripture. If you allow some parts of the scripture to be taken out, then it should be to the good discretion of each individual reader to decide what those parts should be. It's not good enough to say to someone, okay, you don't need to have all 27 books of the New Testament. You don't need to believe in this New Testament, but you have to believe in these parts. Who gave you the authority? Who gave you the authority? Okay. Who gave you the authority? Can I, so, sorry, can I reply? Okay, so this is my summary. This, yeah, is, this, this is my summary. So my summary is this. Um, Mohammed has already accepted that it is quite proper to choose your canon based upon your belief system, which is what he admitted when we talked about the Shia Sunni Hadith. Now, 
it follows therefore that as Christians we are also quite and proper to do the same. The salvation gospel that was taught by the first apostles was not written down and then handed out like a tract. It was preached. Someone can be saved by knowing the good news about Jesus and believing on it without ever having a New Testament in their hand. So come on, come if done in time, Notice! 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 This is what Muhammad Hijab has to do. He's frightened. Notice how the Muslims behave. We listen carefully. No, no, no. And Jake is as good as ever. So, so, notice. Notice. Notice how they are afraid to let me finish. So, so, the fact of the matter is, that is the gospel. It wasn't a headlock. That is the gospel. Let me just check it, Muhammad. That is the gospel that we believe in. And if someone believes in that gospel and is in error, say about the letter of James or about the book of Revelations, their faith is deficient, but not deficient in such a way that would cause them not to be saved. Because it is your faith in Christ, his crucifixion and resurrection, that complete work that saves you, not your knowledge of the scriptures. It is obviously better yes. if you know the scriptures. And I can't take lectures from Muhammad Hijab. <laughs> because Mohammed Hijab has freely admitted that for 1400 years, Muslims have not agreed about their hadiths. But Christians have agreed about the New Testament and the debate was settled amongst Christians from 410 onwards. So we can Finally, he's interrupting again. Notice. Quran notice. Had, uh, notice. 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 Notice he's interrupting. Notice how they interrupt. The Christians were polite to listen to Muhammad, but the Muslims are not polite to listen to the Christians. So, so, continuing. Thank you. I'm glad you recognize that. Well done. So, so guys, let us continue. The Christian faith is based upon the gospel. It is not based upon a book. The church recognized in the writings that were circulating amongst themselves, those books that it recognized as containing that gospel. No, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Please. Muslims, by contrast, disagree about their hadiths. And so it is not an argument to say that because Christians may disagree about certain books, that therefore the faith is invalid. If that argument is logical, Islam is invalid. Finally, I made a point that the Quran makes a claim about history. It says that there was an Injil given to a man called Isa. There is absolutely no evidence for this claim at all. Whereas the New Testament is quoted from the first century continuously to the present day. That is sufficient evidence for the reliability of the New Testament. No, Mohammed, it's now Jason's turn. No, no, don't leave. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I said exactly the opposite. I said after Jason finishes. Go on, Jason. We had a, a, a discussion about the canon at the beginning. I give you four arguments. Yes. I said there was already in 2 Peter chapter 3 a sense of what scripture was when it says put quote in Paul and saying it's scripture that is hard to understand. I talked about the Gnostics quoting the New Testament that the community, that the covenant community always had the idea of covenant and word comes from Dr. Kruger and Form Go on, talk to me, Jason. Then he yeah. talked about Sorry. he talked about we're on the same ground because you can use natural religion. Yes. I talked about Cornelius Van Til yes. and that we have presuppositions and you look at history from the Islamic point of view yes. and we have to look at your glasses and critique it. That's why we need to look at the Quran. Yeah. Yeah. Then we went on, talked. you and Bob talked uh, uh, about things and one yeah. of the main issues that came yeah. for me was your uh, historiography. Yeah. And what I found very interesting is when you give the chain of narration, when I ask you for the 
where you get your scientific principles from, you struggled actually giving us the answer, yeah. and then you, you admitted that your scientific principles come later yeah. after your said, early... I, I, wait that's, a minute. that's what he said. That you, is what you, you said. Came no, late. Let me finish. I said they were let me finish. Let, no, let me finish. finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. They come later. Oh, your you scientific just, uh, principles came later. No, so you're reading back into history a why methodology that, that you've no divine just, authority for. No, 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 no. Why do you always interrupt? No, no, no one interrupted you. Late. Yeah, but no, neither of us interrupted you because we had the good manners not to. You, and you, yet you consistently interrupted. You gave a chain of narration. You gave a chain of narration. And we asked you a critical question. Where did you get the methodology for your scientific hadith? And then you told us it came in later. Bukhari later. I don't no, 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 but it no, came that later. Is, that is the example you gave. So basically, as, he, as Bob Bukhari, said, Jason, you're, re you're retro reading back I, I, into history Jason, yep. with a methodology. Again? With a methodology. Calm with down, a, listen, man. Calm a methodology. Down. You're not I'm listening. Right. You're not listening. He's not listening. Yeah. Yeah. You're reading oh, yeah. back into history a methodology <laughs> that is not objective, <laughs> it's subjective, yeah. that you've invented. Yes. And you're reading back into history yes. with that methodology. Okay. Yeah. Can, uh, if that's okay. Can go. I, can I, I I'm, I'm going to pass now. I'm going to go. Thing? Can no, I'm going to go now. We're going to go. I'm going to go now. Hey, uh, I love I'm you. I'm going to go now. Can I say one thing? No, I'm going to go. Okay, but can I I'm going to go. Ask one question. No, because then I'll have to say one thing as well. Let's just go on. Let's go on. We talk so long. You know what? Anyway, you said one time. Mohammed, it's nice talking to you. It's nice talking to you. Are you going to shake my hand? No, but can I ask you a question? Are you going to shake my hand? Yeah, later. You look after yourself. Yeah. We'll talk again next week. We'll talk again next week. When you bring me, bring me your evidence week, for this myth. Right, I'll ask for the camera. Ask for the yeah. camera. Yeah. Let's go, Mohammed. Ask for the camera. Mohammed, that way. Oh,